cap. God damn right. Stop the cap. Oh, it's good. Esther, then get out. Then Esther, Esther, I don't care. Esther, 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 Goddamn right. Good job, my brother. We rockin' with you. You do realize we, we can see you lying, right? Stop the cap. Hey! Hey! It's good! And that's the bottom line. The Stone Cold Factor. Stay off the damn weed. And they don't listen. Goddamn right. Bang! Bang! It's good! Run! What it do, baby? Hold my fucking hand. Oh, boy! City boy! City boy! Goddamn right. Run! I'll do too. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Yeah. Streets. I'm a bitch from the street. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You said I'm a haddish kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. What it do, baby? When I start selling pussy, I don't want to hear it. When I start selling pussy, I don't want to hear nobody say shit. When you see me on the corner, bitch, mind your business. Woo! Woo! You let him hit it raw. Second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You said I'm a haddish kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Not the banger. The banger. What it do, that baby? Shit ain't, bitch, that shit is ugly at the fuck. Take it out, bitch. I don't like the front shit. Don't like the front of shit. Take it out. That bang yang ain't it, bitch. Bang! Bang! bang. It's good! Oh, 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 oh. You ordered the code red. No, I did the job. Did you order the code red? You're goddamn right, right I did. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck no. <laughs>
you have the facilities for that, baby. Do you understand? Goddamn right. GTD stand. Man, you are in a court of law. There are a lot of people in here. We can't hear you. Your Honor, you're gonna have to make them speak up. What does GTD stand for? Got the draws, okay? <laughs> yeah, he got the draws. Yeah, he got the draws. <laughs> Let me see. Salute in the chat to make sure you guys can, in fact, hear me. Salute in the Thanks chat the to tip. make sure you guys can, in fact, hear me. I will wait. You ain't got no job, man. Ain't got nowhere to be. Make sure y'all hit the like button on the way in. Share the content. Let me see. Salute in the chat to make sure you guys can, in fact, hear me. Salute in, in the chat to make sure you guys can, in fact, hear me. Wildstar says, is that an arm, baby? Nope. That is that an arm, baby? Y'all know I don't do arm babies. Throw that baby in the trash can. Respectfully. Respectfully. Let me see salute in the chat to make sure you guys can, in fact, hear me. Them draws were got to AD. That's a fact. Okay. Sheila can hear me. Daniel can hear me. Rob B can hear me. Amar J. Mark Coop. Michael Holt said, get over here. Salute to you, Michael. Holt. Get over here. Let me see. Salute in the chat to make sure you guys can, in fact, hear me. OG McIntosh. What it do, baby? Loan me some OG. Let me see salute in the chat to make sure you guys can, in fact, hear me. Jihanda says salute. Okay, cool. Mr. Quick can hear me. DeMarco says squad. What it do? Salute to you, DeMarco23. That's my dude. Neo, Neo. What it do, baby? Neo holding us down from South Africa. Where you at, Neo? Salute to you, Neo. I see you, Aaron, holding us down. And Tita, I see you, Karma Gal. I love the, the lovely, lovely squad. It's great to see y'all as always. Make sure y'all hit the like button. What's going on, Mo on the go? What's going on? <laughs> Mo on the go representing Philly says, looking fresh and moisturized, Theo. Um, oh, morning, lazy. Where is this? This ninja is around here somewhere. Clarence Lorden says, I think it's Compton in the house. Salute to you, bro. Salute to you, man. I think I had to grab a super chat real quick and we will get the show on the roll. Hit the like button, good people. Share the content. Let's see. Salute to who we have here. Is it Remian? I'm, I'm probably butchering your name, bro. I apologize. Uh, Rem, 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 Remian? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Salute to you, bro. Read that you. The Mrs. Submissive. Uh, hey, yo, what the fuck? The Mrs. Submissive. I'm calling you out. Where are you at? What are you, where are you doing? Where are you been, Mrs. Submissive? Let's see. <clears throat> Why is everybody praying on... Hear about, hear about you, bro. How about, th hear about this? I'm, ain't nobody praying on Fresh and Fit Downfall, but how about this? I'll pray on yours, bro. How about that? <laughs> how about that? <laughs> and how about this, bro? <laughs> Let's see. How about this? Uh, you can come back tomorrow. How about that? Bang! Bang! It's good! How about that, Adrian? You can come back tomorrow or don't. I don't give a shit. Let's see. Um, what was I doing? Oh, excuse me. I got sidetracked. Mr. Submissive, where have you been? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Where have you been, bro? <laughs> where have you been? Great to see you, as always. Let me see. Grab another super chat real quick. Let's see. Mr. Quigo 6 says... I want to, yo, Coop, I want to interrupt your intro, but let that single mom play the intro one day a week. I'm just saying, you can filter wig, weave, wear it. Salute to you, bro. You let him get it wrong. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. No, salute to bro. Hey. Oh, no, let me stop that. Man, no, bro, I see, here's the thing, bro. I've said, it, I've said this shit before. I've said this shit before, bro. I see how all y'all chat. 
I ain't even been bitching and complaining in the chat for like a mo couple months now, bro. Couple months and I let it ride. Ain't nobody hating on Fresh and Fish, you dumb nigga. This is content. Bang! Bang! It's good! Bro, don't nobody care about this shit. This is content. Finance man is sensitive. I don't even know who you are, finance man. But you know what? We'll time your ass too. We gonna fuck. We can make it go. We make it two for two, bro. Let's do it. Bang! Bang! It's Again, good! Finance man, you talking out your mouth. As I stated, before you even said that comment, my man Adrian been talking shit, making sly comments in the chat for a couple months, so he got timed out. You and Ninja in here, you want to have it? You can come back with him too, nigga. <laughs> anyway, appreciate you, Mr. Quick. Yeah, I think That's I should do that. Salute to you. Appreciate you for the $5 super chat. Motherfuckers thinking that, that because you running a show and you have hundreds and hundreds of people in the chat, you can't see them. That dude been saying little slick comments for a couple months, bro, and I just let it slide, man. Today... Not so much, man. That's and that's how it works. You know, I can do it because it's my goddamn show. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit the like button on the way in. Share the content, good people. Salute to you, Mr. Quick, for the $5 super chat. Salute to Fedoy with the $10 super chat. He says, we know the chick is pregnant. The only thing to be determined is if fresh is the daddy. Everything else being said is just pure noise. Is he the daddy? Cancel Christmas. Really needs some... Oh, Order! Yeah. That's a fact. And I didn't even get a chance to even give my um get I didn't even get a chance to say what I was gonna say before I had to time a couple people out. I don't care about this bang, shit. Bang! Bang! It's good! I, that's how that was the first thing I wanted to do before we even got the show started. Reminder, I don't give a fuck about fresh. I don't give a fuck about fit. His baby. If it's not his baby, I legitimately don't care. I asked the squad yesterday, which y'all want to talk about. And they said fresh and fit. So we talking about fresh and fit. Nobody give a damn. At least I don't. <laughs> this is just content for me, man. Y'all taking it way, way too seriously. We're going to laugh about a, this for a couple videos and move the hell on. And I doubt I'll ever mention it again. I don't give a shit. But I need to talk about something. This is content, man. Let's see. Salute to you for doing for the $10 super chat. Salute to uh, from downtown. So do better security. Work hard already, bro. You goddamn bro. right. Facts, bro. Did I miss the NYC drops? Miss, no, miss, miss, you, you can't come in here asking for drops. You ain't been here in months, man. Let's see. Salute to you from downtown 296. Let's see. I need to see locations in the chat. Your boy Theo is broadcasting live from Detroit, Michigan, where it's actually 50 degrees. We warming up, good people. We warming up. Social media is not that serious. Bro, this is just content for me. Like I said, I didn't even get the opportunity to even say it because that was the first thing I wa wanted to do today. I was like, let me just make sure, make sure I say this. I don't care about fresh and fit. I don't care about none of these niggas. This is content. This is something for us to talk about. Or I can go back to bed and not stream. That's always an option. Always an option. So, yeah. There we go, man. Let me see the location in the chat. Your boy Theo is broadcasting live from Detroit, Michigan. 50 degrees. It's 8.57 a.m. Eastern Time. Let me see locations in the chat. Uh, let's go. Let's get it. Bang! Bang! It's good! People trying to come to Fresh Defense is crazy. Oh, bro. Bro, Fresh and Fit have like, like the wild stand boys, man. So I don't even care about that. I just want to put this out there. I, this is how what Coop says about Fresh and Fit. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. <laughs> let, me tell, right, let me tell you. We don't care. Yeah. It's just content, man. Let me see locations in the chat. Locations in the chat. Let's go. Bang! Bang! It's good! Let's see. Where we at? Exactly, bro. Exactly, man. <laughs> Nobody care about this shit. <laughs> we need a reason for everybody to come in the building, bro. It's really that simple. We got Baltimore in the house. Salute to you, man. Let's see. We got Young Jay says, Young Jay says, Young Jay says. Cleveland! This is for you! Her name is Squadette. She says, hello. What's going on, Squadette? Bang! Bang! It's good! Let's see. We got Maryland in the house. We got Washington, D.C. We got ATL. Ho, salute to you, Don Jeter. To Atlanta, where the play is played, and we ride on them things like every day. I mean, Mr. Dragon, nothing but receipts facts. Goddamn right. <laughs> and that's what we're going to be watching. We got Memphis in the house. We got D.C. in the house. We got Chicago. Team Peterson checking in from Mecca, Saudi Arabia by way of Ann Arbor. Facts. <gasps> Let's see. We got Miami in the house. Salute to you, man. We got, I know we got Miami again. Salute to you, E305. We got Karma Girl representing sunny Orlando, Florida. What it do, baby? Karma Girl, I'm gonna need you to do something. Hold my fucking hand. Let's see. <laughs> we don't care, bro. We don't care about these niggas, bro. Let's see. Why would you ask? Why would you ask a million coming three or four and not busting them out? Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. It's just content, people. It's not that serious. Let's see. Detroit, but I live on the road. Salute to you, Ty Pro. Where you my drop at? Where my drop at? 
You better back the fuck up out my face, goddammit. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Don't play with me. Let me see locations in the chat. Locations in the chat. Let me know where y'all watching me from, man. Let's see. Chris... Christian, I'm sorry, Christian Lawrence says, salute squad, salute to you. Let's see, we got Baltimore in the house. I see you, DeMarco23. I see you, Divine Photos. Let's see, the homie Murph is representing Maryland. Let's see, Derek says, boo, Cleveland, stop that shit, bro. What's going on, Daniel? Representing the UK. Acknowledge me. Top of the morning, governors. That's right, it's time for biscuits and hot tea. You talking about your wrestling, Daniel? Salute to you, bro. How'd that turn out this weekend, man? Let's see, Jay Nelson's in Charleston, South Carolina. Alexander says, Sacramento X. Uh, excuse, excuse me, say <laughs> Sacramento X. Alexander X is Sacramento, Cali, 6 a.m. in the morning, 41 degrees. Salute to you, bro. California. Salute to Sacramento. Salute to Los Angeles. Salute to San Diego. Salute to everybody over there in L.A. Salute to Pasadena. <laughs> Salute to everybody, man. We got Baltimore in the house. I see you smoking talk. Let's see. We got E. Ryan says, Pomano Beach, Florida. Salute to you, bro. It's a cautionary tale for young man. The collapse is due to ego, bro. I'm You're goddamn right. Salute to you, bro. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we got here. We got Fayetteville, North Carolina. House. Salute to you, Megatron. Uh, Daryl says he's representing Arkansas. Salute to you, DB. Let's see. Skinny Boy says, Pound Town, Florida. Salute to you, bro. Let's see how there you go. Just stop. What it do, baby? Great to have you, Karma Girl. We got London in the house. Let's see what's going on, Mike. I see you. Let's see all that ride and, and, and you see what you got. All that ride and, and they are getting paid. Hey, yo, that's another thing too. That's another thing too, man. That is the funny part. <laughs> that is the funny part, man. But like I said, it's just funny, Devontae, because that's the first thing I wanted to do. I was like, before we even get the show started, let me let y'all know. Let me remind everybody, just in case y'all thinking. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jack Half the show gonna be dash cam anyway. Like, we all we play I'm like, give a fuck. Don't nobody care. Only person that cares is fresh and Myron. If y'all not seen a clip of Myron going the fuck off, it's the hol most hilarious thing. <laughs> Myron is the type of friend you need. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want him, but Myron the type of dude to defend your honor to the death of y'all homies. Probably one of those people you always need, man. But yeah, they dig fire, they dig rival free. At least I'm getting paid in this shit, bro. Let's <laughs> see you, man. Let's see. We got Mike's in Tallahassee. Let's see. Make sure y'all subscribe to the homie Smoking Talk. What's going on, Sheila? I see you. Day one, Sheila. Let's see. Gun Metal says, Theo, going to burn going to burn out my eyes today? Probably. Salute to Dallas, man. Everyone in the great state of Texas. Uh, now what y'all know about them Texas boys. Salute to you, Gun Metal. Let's see. All right. Let's get it going. Make sure I didn't miss any more super chats, man. Hit the like button, good people. Share the content. Appreciate you from downtown. Mr. Quick says, yo, Coop, the more clowns you time out, opens up the door for the single monster to get charged. <laughs> Hopefully that should be about it. The, 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 the finance dude, he just called it straight. He was in the wrong place, wrong time. He just he called it straight right in the middle. Adrian didn't have this shit coming for a while, bro. Let's see. Let's The Hawk TV with the $10 super chat. What you got, bro? What you got? Let's see, Theo Myron flipped out like Joe Biden. He did, bro. He did, man. Let's see, Don Jeter says, Myron wanted to cry. He saw them dollars going out the door. That was just so funny, man. Just a clip of him. I don't even know if it's any of the videos that I got for us. Hopefully it is. If not, I will go and find that video. I'd be surprised if it's not. But that shit's hilarious, bro. He's a fan. I'm saying, you need, everybody need a friend like Myron. You might not want him. But the way he defend this homie, man, woo, that's crazy. The Hawk TV says, let's view today's stream as a professional course on what not to do as a public figure. Salute to you, Theo, in the chat. Appreciate you, bro. The Hawk TV, man. Appreciate you very much, man. That's a fact, man. That's a fact. Let's see what we can learn out of this. I'm not going to lie. I'm just here for the jokes. And I got a rock live stream to run. Salute to you, The Hawk. All right, man. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, let's see. I think I've all caught up on the Super Chats. All right, let's get it, man. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Share the content. What we got, people? What do we have starting off? We got Dash Cam. We got Dash Cam. Let me see the taser emoji in the chat. Let's get it. And I think this first one is a bit of an entitled Karen. Big Boy 305 to subscribe. Salute. Salute to Miami. That's all I'm going to play. That drop always gets copyrighted. Make sure I hit the like button. Let's get to it, man. We have Kendra G nonsense. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. I'm like praying on, praying on. Bro, bro, bro. Hey yo, what the fuck? Praying on this nigga downfall. We need a president. This motherfuckers, motherfucking, motherfuckers, a co-host of a podcast that's demonetized on YouTube. But they got to be getting money on Rumble, man. Salute to him. Let's see. <laughs> praying on a downfall, nigga. He ain't Jesus. The fuck is this? The fuck is this? So weird, bro. It's so weird. All right, drunk, drunk Karen's privilege gets denied. Hit the like button, good people. Police were dispatched to a hotel in reference to an unwanted guest causing a disturbance. What's up, man? 
What's up, buddy? Hey, she was in here. Proper great. Just Come being here, very man. disrespectful. She was like, person I guess, almost fell like, she fell over there, but she almost fell over here. I grabbed her. Uh, we're just trying to verify. She is a guest here. Totally just like Heather. We're trying to come here and tell her, hey, go back up to your room. Call her night. It's probably like on the scale of like what like, you should and should not do. Yeah. Like, she just took off. Like, she fell like, down a couple times, but now she's back do here. Do not do here. that shit. We need to find out if she's a guest here. Don't do it! Don't fucking do it! Nobody recognizes her? Uh, no one recognizes her, but she does have a bracelet. So that, usually that means yes, right? Yeah, that means that she is a guest, but we just need to verify her. How are you? Having too much of a good time? Um, I have a question for you. So are you Julia? What the f are you guys like doing? Oh, I'm right covering her, my bad. I'm gonna get the f off and leave. Uh, if I see any more people surrounding this place. And also, like, why are you surrounding me? Like, I've done nothing wrong. And, like, you're watching, like, people like so uh-uh me the fuck out of here get me the fuck out of here you don't need to sit down no, get me out of here she's single too she like again yeah she's great oh shit George um, actually George Why the f I've been drinking. Excuse me, wait, I need to talk to my Ma'am, you have to go outside, they don't want you to know. I need, why the f are you doing this to me? No, you have to go outside, ma'am, come on. Wait for What are you doing? I need to talk to my boyfriend. He's on the way down. He's coming downstairs. Do you know, how do you know this? Listen, miss, he's gonna meet you outside. How do you know this? I just talked to him. Why are we talking to Jerry, me? Jerry is coming right now. Yes, why are we talking Julia, to me? Come outside with us. I need okay, you to come outside with us. Okay, why are we talking to me? Why are we talking to me? Why are we talking, <laughs> why are we talking to me? What the f oh. Excuse me. Oh, Excuse me. I fucking died. She has to go. She got to go. Stop screaming. Stop screaming. If not, you're gonna go to jail, okay? Okay. You are trespassed from this from this hotel. Listen, no, 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 listen. You're, no, you're not allowed to stay here. If you come back, Why the listen to Wait, yeah. no, excuse me. I'm staying here. No, no more. So why? No more. Why? No more. Give me a f reason. They want you off the property, so leave the property. Give me a I told you. reason. I just told you. You gotta get off the property. <laughs> no, you did not. Yeah, I did. Give me a reason. Yeah, I did. You little f***ing, you did not. Yeah, I did. They don't want you on the property. That's okay. The so why the the reason is they don't want me on the property. Is Jerry, where's Jerry at? So please, this is my f***ing boyfriend, Jerry. right? Jerry. Jerry. You, you need to get she, her for she has to leave. Right, she has to leave. And she points to the boyfriend. A boyfriend, like, bro. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Let's see, but yeah, does she even know where she is? And it's funny because they're staying in a hotel. I guess she was just in the lobby, just got white girl wasted. And her boyfriend upstairs is like, what is going on in here? Let's get back to it. Yeah, off the property, completely. Off the property. Let me get my car. Why the f***? Hey, Jules, Jules, Jules. 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 Please, please. Otherwise, you're going to get messy. Is there a reason why I can't be kept here on property? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. They have the right to remove anybody from the property. No, but I'm curious. You don't have to do anything. No, but I'm serious. I'm just, they just told you. We don't know why they called us because of whatever the servicer calls it, and they want you off the property. That's all we know. Oh, that's it. Oh, so your boyfriend's gonna go get your bag and that's bag fine. I just am like so, like I'm just like so. <laughs> Nothing to be confused about. What am I confused about? Why no, the there's, f there's, there's nothing to be confused about. No, there absolutely is a lot to be confused about. Are you f***ing serious? So then you're f***ing stupid. I guess I am. Yes, that's true. So you're just stupid, that's what I'm Right? I guess so. We like stupid people too. No big deal. Stupid people are people. What? 
we were in an actual world, we'd actually be friends, I think. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yo, that was a brother. The brother was like, look, look, she tipsy a little bit. She feeling old boy. She was like, I think in a different world, you and I actually be friends. He said, I don't think so. Access denied. <laughs> he was like, you can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> she thought he put a little charm on it. He was like, no ma'am, no ma'am. Access denied. Let me grab the super chat real quick. Let's see. Was that G Honda? Look like G Honda with the $5 super chat. What you got, G? I got says, Coop at the office on a close. Why client got, got hostile? I told him, I'm from Detroit, eight miles. Don't play with me, salute to you, bro. You better back the fuck up out my face, goddammit. I'm from Shit. Detroit, Michigan. Don't play with me. Salute to you, Jihada. Fuck him up, yo. Lose your job, Jihada. Go ahead, but lose your job. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Okay, then, well, then you're just friends with stupid people. I don't like those people either. So, fuck off. Have fun with fucking stupid people. Who the f are you? Who are you? What's your name? Smith. I would like to know all of your Smith. F names because Smith. I'm gonna be f reporting them. That's great. I just told you my name, Smith. Yeah, I'm, I'm like recording it right now. So okay. Smith and what's mm -hmm. your other name? What's your actual That's name? It. Smith is my name. No, what's your first name? You don't need my first name. I actually f do. Okay. I need to know your f first name and your fucking you second name. No, I, don't. I need to know every. F Name that it takes to f***ing... Yes, I f***ing do. <laughs> Shanti, is your wig off? Salute to you, Mona D. I'm recording this shit. Go ahead. <laughs> you guys are f***ing so f***ing lazy. I understand Thank that you. you guys... No, I understand. I understand, like... yeah. Thank you. No, I understand that, like, having you guys as, like, a proponent is, like, pretty much, like, just, like, a death nail. Cause cool. like anyone cool in your f***ing like service is going to get f***ed. So f*** you. Can we get her off. Wait, she can wait over there. <laughs> no. I think we'll have no. to wait. No. Julia, I'm the manager. Of Tell talk. me how the f*** we get f off property? Yeah, this is so way too distracting. Let's go across the street. Wait across the street. Go across the street. Need to wait. Across the street. <laughs> the hotel manager's like, hey, get this bitch out of here, bro. Like. Can y'all figure out if y'all gonna arrest her across the street? Right. Like, I ain't, like, I'm not trying to deal with this right now. This just drunk Becky up here wasting, scaring away all my customers and shit, potential clients. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Feel it's a, it, it, Shanty, Shanty, it better be. You filthy motherfucker. Salute to you, Shanty. I know you're somewhere looking good. All right, let me grab these super chats real quick, and then we get right back to it. Like I said, somebody called, Thanks I think it was Jay Tillman called it in the chat. My man right here, she tried to throw the cootie cat at him. He was like, you lose. Nah, drunk Becky. I ain't going for that one. Hit the like button, good people. Let's see. Salute to you, G Honda. Salute to Real Bavado Never. I see you, TJ. Yeah, TJ, I don't know, man. Maybe I haven't seen you in these YouTube streets, man. I don't know if you took a break, man. Salute to you. Make sure y'all subscribe to the homie Real Bavado Network. Appreciate you for the five channel membership. Great cash, homie. Find the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> With your broke ass. <laughs> Top Rose says motorboat. <laughs> Salute to you, man. And make sure if the homie Real Bravado Network hooked you up with a channel membership, please say thank you. What's going on stage for Indo? I see you. Uh, Daniel says he's going to step away for a second. He got an appointment. Okay, cool. cool. Appreciate you, Daniel. Let's get back to it, man. Make sure y'all show some, uh, RB and some love in the chat if you got a channel membership. Okay, well then push Across me. the street. Push me. Come on. Oh, fucking push me. Oh across my this God. fucking street. Can you, you can walk. Take you can get off. You can get off the property and you can go to jail for trespassing. Is that what you want to do? Jesus Ooh. fucking Go Christ. across the street. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You got you? <laughs> go across the street. Guys, Excuse me. Oh, you fucking hate me. Oh, fuck you. Oh, we got action. We got action. <gasps> Let me see the taser emoji. Taser this bitch. Hey, this bitch. <laughs> Let's see. Sergeant Brandon, man, says reporting in Commander Cooper. Hey, old Godzilla. Salute to you, bro. Project Leroy says Coop giving folks the eclipse in the chat today. Let's get into it, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Right, you can go to jail. Oh. 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 No. No. Oh. Give me 
your arm. No! Cross your arm. Get the f off of me! <laughs> Taze that bitch. Uh, get the f off of me! Get tip. off of me! Get off of me! Get off of me! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Ah! Get up. Get up. Stop it! 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 Get up! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Hey dragon her, bro. <laughs> uh Bunny Girl just subscribed. Salute. Appreciate you, Bunny Girl. Hit the like button. Bunny Girl. <laughs> they dragged her ass, Bunny Girl. From downtown 296 in that super chat. She fell out like my badass R baby. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> talking all that shit from downtown. Talking all that shit. Salute to you, bro, for the two dollar. Super chat. Let's see. Salute to Adaz the Trap. What you got, ID? He says, grab the scruff of her neck like a cat. <laughs> bang! Bang! It's good. They hit her ass. <laughs> Salute to you, bro. Let's get back to it, man. You can stand up or we're going to pick you stand up. Stand up. Stand up or we're going to pick you up. Step his face down on the ground. Get up. Stop. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up then. That's what you can. Spawn to fit right here. Great observation, bro. He said the boyfriend basically goes there. I'm telling you, bro, and I'm not mad at it, man. He was rational. He told her, like, hey, you need to chill or you might get arrested. And then she kept talking and he was like, I'm out. He was like, all right. Um, they don't need, both of us don't need to go to jail. Just you, spot of it. I ain't even mad at it. Let's get back to it. Oh, Thanks for the tip. Oh, right. <laughs> right here somewhere. Stand. No. Stand up. Stand up. You're literally laying on the ground with no pants on. Get up and get in the car. Get up. Get up. Get Wild Star says, meanwhile, the boyfriend probably in the hotel sleep like a baby right now. That's a fact. It's the best sleep he done got since he been with this bitch. She's tucked him again. What'd you me? Being dumb. Pull it, pull it. Put it get, get, get that shit, you mother <laughs> dumb shit. <laughs> right, Lou? I will f <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> JF Wilder, JF said, boyfriend in a room on Tinder. That's good. <laughs> I like the cut of your jib, JF. Shit, I don't give a. F <laughs> I literally don't give a. F well, she's going to jail. I'm right <laughs> oh, thinking a boyfriend. No, 100%. 100%. Okay. You guys alright? Yeah. There you go. Be gentle. She's kicking us and punching us, bro. What do you mean, be gentle? I'm sorry. We were very nice to her. You we were very nice to her the whole time. There's no j being gentle anymore. <laughs> you better shut the fuck up, bro. Stop. <laughs> right, the Charles? The suspect was charged with multiple crimes, including felony battery on law enforcement. Jesus. She pled not guilty, and her case is still ongoing. 
Consider subscribing to Crime Scene Cam for more updates and check out these next videos. Damn, they hit her ass with like eight charges, man. Salute to you. Bro, she probably won't do uh, no time. Arthur Cops can't grab the pistol. <laughs> her boyfriend. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> the tip. Should be. This ninja out here like, hey, man, you be a little rough, man. If you don't, this is a blessing in disguise, man. You get a good night's rest. Go hop on one of them dating apps and get you some cheeks, bro. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Salute to... I got this one from I Dies a Trap. That is true. Salute to... Let's see what we got here. Got that one from I Dies a Trap. Skinny Boy says, hey, Remy. <laughs> I'm about to bust. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> Salute to you, Skinny Boy. Skinny Boy shooting his shot, man. I ain't mad at it. Salute to you, Skinny Boy. Salute to MOP. Channel member for 13 months. He says, fresh control your scallywag. <laughs> he taking in moist classes. Salute to you, MOP. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. We get on to the next one. Let's see. Uh, salute to Real Bravado Network with the $20 Super Chat, our show sponsor. I'm the money, y'all. There's poor people around <laughs> with your broke ass. <laughs> AD says she beats him. What's going on, Antonio Hicks? I see you. Let's see. Real Bravado says, I love this girl. I love the way it's taking 20 cops to get in the car. She's a fucking gangster. I need an IG. I'm in love with a drunk white chick. <laughs> Salute to you, uh, Ruben Bottle. I'm not mad at it, man. I'm not mad at it. But uh, where, what was that? Hold on for a second. Yeah, man. Okay. I don't even have that one on here. I got this one. I got this one, though. I begin to pass out. And my head hit the wall. <laughs> but I had a praying grandmother. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> I was going to get rid of that one. I might still do it. Salute to you, Ruben Bottle Network. You are our show sponsor. Bang! Bang! It's good! It was painful extra pocket. I see you, Drew. Bang! Bang! It's good. We got Drew Titan in the building. Salute to you. <coughs> make sure all you make sure everyone subscribe, excuse me, to the Real Bovado Network, our show sponsor. Getting white girl wasted, man. Hello. White girl wasted is funny to me. And surprisingly, no racial slurs. I'm surprised. That might be the first time ever we didn't get a drunk Becky who got racist. Uh, at least once. I, at least if she did say the slur, I missed it. Salute to y'all, man. Let's see. Pre appreciate you, Real Bravado. I'm going to get you updated in one second. Let's see. Salute to South 343. What you got, South? Salute on the Solar Eclipse Monday. Salute, bro. <laughs> Had no idea what it, is. it was today, so now I know. Coop don't know that. Coop don't, Coop don't know what be going on, man. Coop world revolves around his YouTube channel, and it sucks. Salute to you, bro. <laughs> appreciate you, South, for the $2 Super chat. All right, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Let's see what we got here. Let's talk about, uh, let's see. I don't, let's, let me reluctantly talk about um, Fresh and Fit. Let me update Real Bravado as our show sponsor. They screwed that white girl. Says she had it. She had She had Y'all are nuts, man. All right, what do we have next here? We have, make sure I hit the like button, share the content, good people. We're on the road to 200K. I need to start saying that. We're on the road to 200K. We still have a long way from there. Let's see. And also, a reminder, good people, a reminder, I'm going to be putting some stuff out. I'm going to be sending some stuff out this Friday. I'm going to stream twice Friday. Bang! Bang! It's good! I'm going to stream twice on Friday. We're going to have the regular Flues are fried. Oh, yeah. that's. I need to say that real quick. I won't be able to stream. I'm actually going to be really busy the next two days. So I won't be able to stream on Wednesday. I usually stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I won't be able to do it this, this Wednesday because the next two days I'm going to be really busy. But... I'll be here Thursday, and then we stream it twice on Friday. We're going to have the regular Fruiser, Fluser Fridays like we always do. And then Friday night. Pull up on me Friday night. I don't know, about 7, 8 p.m. We're going to have the 2023 Do Better Awards. Bang! Bang! It's good! It's only four months late. It's only four <laughs> months. We only in the first week of April, but we're going to finally get the awards to all. So tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure y'all let Drew Titan people know that dude named Dave, SPC Nation, tell everybody. Do Better Awards is coming this Friday evening, I think. All right, so, yeah, just letting y'all know that. Appreciate you, Rupert Votto. Unless I get it. Let's see. Double show. I know AD ain't trying to work that hard, though, man. Double show. Uh, I don't know. Hey, I'm not trying to work that hard. I might I might have to. Mm, might, someone, I might have to. One of the ladies might have to. Give me a Gucci discount or something. Might have me get some, give me some Gucci loving to motivate your boy to get it. All right, Police let's see. Oh, no, not this again. Not, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? Not that again. No, not Talk again. Great. Just being very respectful. She was like, get this off, guys. Get this off my screen. Like, 
she fell over there, but she just fell over here. I grabbed her. Uh, we're just trying to verify if she is a guest. Here. Get off my screen, Becky. Shit. See, Becky didn't want to leave. All right. Let's see here. This is going to be O'Shea talking about Fresh gets IG a model pregnant, begs her to, to do this is O'Shea Duke Jackson. Let's see. 1 p.m. What'd you say? Between 1 and 2 p.m. A solar eclipse happens today. Thank you for enlightening me, bro. Now I know, man. Now I know. I might need to sue. Yeah. Who is dominated for Gucci of the year? And here's the thing. Real quick, we're going to go to the next clip. I thought about this. I was like, we had a whole time, I think, before Christmas where everybody voted. And I'm like, I can send this back out. But I'm going to have to tally that shit all over again. So, uh, now, that's going to be, I think if I put it back, if I put it back out, excuse me, for people to vote again, I, I just think it's going to be too much of a mess. So, I'm going to leave it alone. And we did not have Gucci of the year. We didn't have Gucci there at the time. So, all right. Let's see. Appreciate you, South 343, for the super chat. What we have? O'Shea Duke Jackson talking about Fresh and Fit. Let's get it. Let's get it, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jung. Dima, I'm going to be out of music. So you guys know Fresh and Fit is still the number one red pill podcast on planet Earth. At this time, it may be the only red pill podcast on planet Earth. The Manosphere has taken somewhat Gucci of a nose year. dive on social media. I believe that is the plan. But hey, they do have stay in power. Fresh and fit are still going strong. Just not as strong on YouTube. They were demonetized and they do most of their damage on Rumble. But that hasn't stopped Fresh and Fit from continuing to be successful. I won't be a hater. Give me a round of applause. But stop the show. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are still not liars. You can be very successful as a liar. And one of the best liars on earth is AK Fresh, which means Walter. Not only is he a liar full time, he's not <laughs> even a guy that's a player. Rewind! Most of you guys remember two and a half years ago, he hooked up with this white sugar baby by the name of Miranda. And oh yeah, she pretty much exposed him for basically being a sucker. And she told everybody about it. Went on TikTok and told everybody about it. What did Fresh do? <laughs> After being exposed, he broke up with her and got back with her. Check this clip out because academics exposed that too. Oh my God. Hey, hey what are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for the tip. That's when you get my man caught up. <laughs> I don't fuck your girl, so. <laughs> There are dweebs. Oh, your day's fresh, man. Look at this guy. You living up? Holy. Hero, I'm sorry you had to deal with that, brother. Who little fresh? What type of dog is that? Yo, gotta hop from the camera. Come over here. I want a dog. Real talk. Yo, I'm in first class and everybody got a dog. What type okay. of dog is this? <laughs> I just want to see what dog this is. Move. Hero. But it get the birds of a feather flock together. Academics is lame as hell, bro. It's worse. Oh yeah, it gets worse. Fresh was going around birds acting as tip. if he was a CEO, as if he was a person that was living a successful lifestyle. But Mr. John Anthony lifestyle uh, found out that Fresh was faking it until he made it. He was always broke and he Thanks never achieved tip. anything in his life. So <laughs> Damn, let's jump shit. into the juicy details on this Fresh Prince CEO, okay? So somebody emailed me and said, I'm surprised you haven't covered the Fresh Prince CEO, who's part of the Fresh and Fit Idiot Duo. He didn't say idiot, I'm adding that in for effect. This is the real clown of the Fresh and Fit Duo. He makes Myron look like James Bond. This guy has 100K fake followers, fake Yahoo News articles written about him, takes pics with other guys' Lambos and private jets, yet doesn't have a website or any record of him ever owning a business. Doesn't take any research to expose the guy. He exposes himself with his own links, okay? And then he sends me a bunch of links. There's no time to go into all these. He clearly has too few likes, comments, or posts to justify the 100K follower count. <clears throat> Obviously paid for followers, as I showed that Derek Moneyberg did as well. <laughs> Derek Moneyberg went from under 100 followers on YouTube to over half a million <clears throat> in about 10 months. And you can see these massive things that I showed on Social Blade. I'll, I'll put a link up in the, in the corner for that. That was objective proof that he bought followers. Fresh Prince CEO is doing the same thing. Uh, let's see. Obviously paid for followers, no verification check mark. There are tons of accounts who get verified at 20 to 50K. He can't get verified at 100. 
For a guy who brags about being high value and wears Rolexes and takes pics with Lamborghinis, he sure doesn't mind showing off a couple girls that are a four or five out of 10. What gives him the authority to teach guys game? Okay, and then he shows <clears throat> a couple pictures of him with ugly girls, which I'll post on the screen. That's he wears true. a gold chain that says CEO on it, cringe, which stands for collect every opportunity, even more cringe, <clears throat> which is the name of his fake, non-existent social media agency. Fresh, where's your website clients or testimonials? Oh, you don't need them, I guess. You have a gold chain and shirts that say CEO. <laughs> this is supposed to be the guy who gives business advice and helps guys become high value men. Okay, he must have wised up recently because he took his Yahoo news article off of his link tree, but it's still up on Yahoo. I'll, I'll put these articles here. He's linking all this stuff. This is a poorly written paid press release that is credited to VIP media group at the bottom. It reads like it was outsourced to some Chinese guy on Fiverr. It was syndicated from Access Wire, which is a paid press release service from Associated Press. Here's a link where it says paid content from Access Wire. I'll show that on the screen. Fresh alludes to the article being featured in CBS, Fox News, Disrupt Magazine, Chicago Weekly News, and New York Finance, which might not even be a real publication. Did his Fiverr designer misspell New York Times Finance, or is he stupid enough to think that people won't notice? There's no record of him being published in any of these publications. Well, <laughs> he shows yeah, well. proof of that. According to his LinkedIn, he has zero business experience and was working in customer service up until December 2020. But that's just some of the problems that this guy who charges a lot of money for consultations and courses to give young men. And don't forget that booty clapping sounds. <laughs> that's right, he has over a thousand bodies, right? But oh no, <laughs> Mr. Fresh, Mr. I hate black women, Mr. I'm anti-black who only dates non-black chicks is out here trying to ruin chicks' lives. That's right, because why? Well, yeah, Fresh has a, can I get some baby sound effects, crying effects? <laughs> yeah, Fresh allegedly has somebody pregnant. You know, he doesn't mind, you know, not using condoms and clapping cheeks, but there's this one issue. He don't want to deal with what happens afterwards. And that's why this young lady has exposed him for doing this. What? I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. God. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am <laughs> pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing it. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. <laughs> no. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying, I don't want a baby? That's all? I mean... To the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. Thanks for the tip. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Because I'm like, there's no way that, that that's true. But then I said, oh, wow. like. So just think about it. It's mean to be. God, wants, God I, wants you to have the baby. Oh, my God. Definitely not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're relate in a relate you're fucking me for a month and I'm pregnant. Thanks for the tip. What does that mean? Well, like it, now you know, I just think about if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you're a sin. Oh man, hold on. Let me say something real quick. Pasta Texas, who recorded the conversation? She's lying. I don't know if she is or not Pasta Texas. She probably is. I don't really care. Here's the thing I'm realizing, Pasta Tech. I'm 40. I'll be 41 this summer. I'm listening to this Pasta Tech thinking, 
The last thing I want to do, fellas, let me know if y'all feel me in the chat. The last thing that I want to do at over 40 years old is have a conversation with a woman about trying to talk her into a board. Bang! Bang! It's good! Have I been there before? <gasps> but it's not, but it's not the time. I was a much younger man. I cannot fathom sitting back trying to have this goddamn conversation at over the age of 40, bro. You got to sit back and try not to push too much and only let her go a little bit. You can't be like, bitch, kill that baby. Kill that baby. <laughs> Throw that baby in the trash. Is that an arm baby? Y'all know I don't do arm babies. Throw that baby in the trash can. Respectfully. You can't just tell her to throw the baby in the trash can, even though you want to. <laughs> even though you want to. Jesus, man. Let me grab these super chats real quick. And then again, I don't care about fresh and fit. I don't care about this. This is just content for me. I don't really give a shit. But fellas, learn a lesson. Wrap it up, B. Make sure you protect your seed. Let's see. We That's got a we got we go. What's going on? Excuse me, Project Leroy. We're gonna need Ernest's Eclipse forecast. <laughs> man, I can't even imagine. Trying to have this conversation, Jabari, erroneous E. Let's see. Thanks Duke Madman says, I'm 56 and I feel you on that. Can you imagine, Duke, having this conversation right now? What's going on, Dave? I see you. Bang! Bang! It's good! This is why I got my tools tied, says uh, Dave. Bro, I can, Dave, can you imagine sitting back and trying to have this conversation? You know what I'm saying? Like, you really want to tell her, you really want to push this bitch in front of a uh, moving truck or, like, take her on a roller coaster? You know what I'm saying? Like, get this. <laughs> Get every, get everything about the paint. But you can't, man. But you can't, bro. That is crazy. I got you, Project Leroy. Give me a second, man. Appreciate you, bro. Let's see. I got you. Let's see. From downtown 296 says, think about it. In the multiverse, in a different dimension, on a totally separate timeline, Fresh is the president of the United States. <laughs> and I ain't got a problem. I, I don't like the, the, the people, like people in the chat were saying they're posers. To me, man, be humble, bro. Come on, YouTube, start your channel. I mean, I'm not saying people got to do like me. I just go up here, start, have my channel. I don't look at myself as anything just to do with a YouTube channel. These guys try to be influence. I hate that I word. I would never call myself an influencer. I'm just do with a YouTube channel. It's not that deep. But they try to act as if they're, they're, they're something that they're not, man. Just get this YouTube money, bro. At least that's enough for me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I just can't imagine trying to have that conversation. Salute to you from downtown. E305 says, member for six months. What you got? Walter is clearly a cornball. <laughs> Salute to you, E305. Salute to Miami, man. I am Divine Photo says, if we're going to be honest, sadly, this won't hurt fake and fraud because the amount of people that react to them gives them a big audience. Exactly, bro. Here's the other thing as well. I don't have a problem with Fresh and Fit as far as them claiming to be ladies, man. Did they not in reality? I personally don't care about none of that shit. I don't like them ninjas because they tethered. Bang! Bang! It's good! And they was talking down on black people, uh, FBAs, and talking down on black women, saying that they don't date darkies and all that kind of shit, when both them niggas darker than I am. This nigga, from, I think, he from, where's he from? from Trinidad? I forget, I always forget where both these guys are from. Uh, King T just subscribed, so Luke. I think Myron is from, like, Shit, y'all let me know. I can't figure I think Somali, Somalia, Saudi Arabia, or some shit. I know he from the Middle East and fresh ass from the island somewhere. Uh, Colleen, uh, is it Cali, Fornia? Uh, oh, California for life. I got you. I got you. Appreciate you. Salute. You know what I mean? That's that was my that was my issue with them. My issue was Coop, you are an influence. I am not an influence. I am not an influencer, bro. Both are loser says ready. Okay. Uh Fresh is from Barbados. And then okay, appreciate y'all. Fresh is from Barbados. Skinny boy says Myron is from Sudan. I got a problem with black I got a problem with black people who, in my opinion, hate being black. Bang! Bang! It's good. And when they hate their skin tone on some Uncle Ruckus shit. I just don't, I just can't rock with you. So I don't even have a problem with them being fake gurus and all that kind of bullshit. If you give me your money, somebody else said in the chat, how you gonna get fresh your money? He can barely speak English. If that's what y'all wanna do, fine. I got a problem with them ninjas being tethers. That's what I have a problem with. Nothing to do with them being with women and all that kind of shit. Salute to y'all, Divine Photos. Let's see. Salute to uh, Charles. Did I miss somebody? Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, you're right, I am Divine Photos. I wonder how that Rumble money be, though. That's the one thing I want to know. Charles Indig, what's going on, bro? Just salute Funny Culture Live, Ty Difference in Australia. I know it is, bro. Salute to you, man. Appreciate you for the $10 Australian, mate. Appreciate you, bro. Let's see. Thanks for the tip. 
Salute to from downtown 296 back in the super chat. She sounds like Miss Swan from Mad TV. <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh my like time from downtown. Now. Bro, you can't say that shit, bro. You can't say that <laughs> shit. <laughs> you can't say that shit, bro. Salute to you from downtown. That's hilarious, man. First man gaming with the $5 super chat. I got First man says, I find it hilarious how Fresh and Fish say how they don't like black women. Yeah, Fresh is to uh, tolerating those same behaviors from a bitch who barely speak English. Goddamn right. Talk to him. <gasps> Again, I don't have no problem. See, my beef with them is totally different than everybody else. They talking about this baby. I don't give a fuck about this arm baby. I don't even know if she pregnant. I'm not even 100% sure. Don't give a shit, by the way. I don't like him because of this shit. This, remember that clip I played, First Man Game? And I don't know if you remember First Man, where Myron was talking. I remember King Richards was in it was it was in the video. Myron was talking. He said, "Us white dudes, us white guys," and then he was talking about he wanted to debate Dr. Umar and Tariq Nasheed to to let him know it's like debate whether black people have it. Like all kind of shit. Like Ninja, you black? Hey yo, what the fuck? Coop don't do tethers, man. <laughs> I tell you every ten, y'all going nuts, man, in the chat. Appreciate you first, man. Salute to Miles Owens the Million. What you got, bro? Uh, channel member for four months. This is high value. This is how vi excuse me. This is how high value men behave. Pookie detected. I think you're making a good point, man. So the beast with the ten dollar super chat. What you got, bro? That Joker trying to give men advice and can't follow his own damn advice. Why was he so careless? You big, you big dummy. That's a fact. Appreciate you for the ten dollar super chat, uh, Bistro. Great cash, homie. Appreciate you, Bistro. That's a fact, man. From downtown, bro. What you got, man? From McLaren to McDonald's. When the child support hit, you stupid, bro. Salute to you from downtown with a five dollar super chat. Let's see here. Salute to that dude named Dave, channel member for four months. Get to snip, especially if you're in these streets, bro. You're goddamn right. That's a fact, man. That's a fact, bro. Let's get back to it, man. Let's see. I think I got one more. Salute to you. Make sure y'all subscribe to the, that dude named Dave. Recluse Gangster says, uh, mainly ain't about to get paid. Get the fresh and, fresh and shit child support. Cash ready, nigga. <laughs> Salute to you, bro. Let's get Thanks back to it, y'all. Let's finish off this convo. Well, we already said about having sex. But... It's too late now, you know? But honestly... Thanks for the tip. If that was the case, then my ex-wife would have the baby. You know? I'm just saying, look, I get it. But we're not together. You want to get a baby? I don't want a baby. Oh yeah, by the way, her name is Daisy Fit underscore Chin on Instagram. Um, I know she's, I don't know what part of Asia that she's from. Beautiful lady, by the way, give her a round of applause. And uh, yeah, she says that, um, you know, she was in love with him for like a month and he had been trying to get a baby for seven years. And he's telling the chick like, yo, we're <laughs> not together. <laughs> we're not together. You know, why don't you go and get, um, you know, the A-B-O-R shun. Go get it. But wait a minute, man. Red pill guys, don't you guys, you know, talk about, you know, wearing condoms and, you know, not pro procreating, not getting these, uh, you know, th th these chicks pregnant. Don't you guys talk about that? I'm, I'm pretty sure that you do. Guess what? That ain't the first time I've heard that from him. Or my wanna know why? Because analogy. these guys don't do what they're talking about. See, at least with me, I'll tell you I'll be simping. I fall into simping. I I like women, I fall into simping. It's a lot of things I try No uh young Jay, no access denied. Yeah, they never said they don't date bullshit, they didn't. Y'all know young Jay, they said that shit. They said we don't date darkies, bro. It's clips of them saying that. I don't know what y'all talking about. This it's clips of them saying that they don't date black women. It's several clips of them saying that shit. They don't they always talk about the black. No, bro. Y'all mistaken on that one, bro. They said that shit on several occasions. Try to get out there. So when I start simping and fall into simping, y'all can't say I'm a simp. Y'all definitely know I love tricking and I don't plan on stopping Thanks no time soon. I love to trick. I love tricking it off. And I'm going to continue to trick it off because tricking is fun and I don't give a damn what you think. Okay. If you don't like it, just get off this page. Hang it up. Ooh, sound effect. <laughs> But the problem that I have with a guy like this is you're on here acting as if you have all the answers for these young men and you're making the same mistakes. All right. Clearly, bro, you're in Miami. You're dealing with these chicks who would never deal with you. 
if you didn't have that podcast, you got the McLaren, you got all this stuff just so that you can get the chicks that you tell other dudes to stay away from. Yeah, you guys are always talking about how these chicks will just get your money. They will put you on child support, how to avoid it. But nope, Walter Weeks, what are you doing? Booty clapping sounds. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why, man. Because internet dudes is lame. Let me tell you, man, I'm from the West Coast, right? Real, real brother from the West Coast, right? From the West. Those of us who had a little experience in life in dating and doing something, whenever we got the opportunity to make more money, it didn't. Let me see. I forgot about this. Myron had a viral clip of wearing a clan hood. Bang! Bang! It's good! Myron had a viral clip of him wearing a clan hood. Don't miss me with that. Yo. Don't miss me with that. Don't be acting like I'm fucking crazy up here, people. People act as if I'm making this shit up. That's why they got demonetized. For, for the people who don't remember this shit or, or 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 have selective memories, that's why they got demonetized. Because them motherfuckers went on Rumble with Sneeko. Uh, Sneeko and this another jackass, some white, some white dude, I forget his name. He got beat up before on, on he got beat up somewhere during the live stream in Miami somewhere. Y'all with the selective ass memory. That's why they got booted off. That's why they got demonetized on YouTube. They did this shit on Rumble, thinking shit was all going to be good. YouTube said... Access denied. Y'all in this revisionist ass history. <laughs> Let's see. Exact, bro, exactly. Like, I'm making this shit up. What? Yeah, man. Shut up, bitch. I'm looking at some of y'all funny in the chat, bro. What is y'all talking about? Let's get back it to it. just go to our head. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I started doing somewhat decent on YouTube... It didn't go to my head like it wasn't like something that really rocked me you know what i'm saying like it didn't change me i was trying to throw it <laughs> in somebody's you, face and i had to go and buy an expensive car i could have been had um a ferrari or something crazy like that i really wasn't tripping off nothing like that man i'm oj duke jackson back at it again like you know what i'm saying if you don't like me i don't give a damn i might even tripping though real talk you know what I'm saying? Might be ugly, but I always had some mouthpiece. What did E40 say? I don't need no iron. I'm already creased. I don't need no money. I got mouthpiece. See, y'all don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? Real, real talk, though. You know what I'm saying? Don't give me, don't give me all my stuff. But these dudes, these dudes are lame. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as they got any money, $5, they got around some chicks that would have never talked to them. Now you shooting up the club. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they're going to let you do that because... You got money. Now you got them pregnant. Now you over here acting like a straight sucker, like you don't want to take care of the kid. Well, nah, man. Nah, bro. Go ahead on and be that. Oh, I don't want to be in the kid's life. So now you don't want to be in the kid's life? And that's crazy, right? How these same dudes say they don't love black women. They don't want to be with black women. And you know what? That's even great because now you're over there with these non-black chicks leaving them baby mamas too, right? You think they people are going to appreciate a brother like you doing that? <laughs> you could have stayed in Trinidad or wherever you hear you from, Tobago, and do that over there, player. How would you like it if we go over there to your country and start booty clapping sounds? No, I'm not wrong about this. What are you Access denied. What are you talking about, bro? I'm not wrong about this shit. I do this YouTube shit every day. Like, dog, I'm not wrong about it. You got people in the chat telling y'all, man. If y'all want to K for them, that's fine. Put the cape on. But don't gaslight me. Don't act like I'm making this shit up. And someone else said it. They were on there with with just pearly things. And just pearly racist ass was like, oh, she was skinned away. We're like, let me get away from y'all this. What are y'all talking about, man? Let's get back to it. Clapping like cheeks, and when your up. chicks get pregnant, we like, oh, we can't help you. Nope, because that's sucker stuff. That's what a sucker do. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. A real one ain't going to do nothing like that. Like, nah, you pregnant, you going to keep the baby? All right, let's see the baby mine. You know, no, nah, not going to talk about, why don't you go down there and get a boy? Why don't you wear a condom then? <laughs> Mr. Cheek Clapper? Booty Clapper sales? <laughs> All right, let me grab these uh, other super chats. Again, I'm not even saying this chick is, I, again, I don't know and I don't give a fuck. I'm not saying that this chick is pregnant. I'm not saying she not scamming. Again, my beef, y'all got, my beef is not with them. I don't give a fuck about these two people, these random strangers being pregnant or having kids or not being pregnant. I got, my thing is them about being tethers and talking shit on black people. That's my issue with them. Again, I don't give a damn about them or this baby, man. But y'all not gonna sit up here and act like I'm remembering this shit wrong. That bitch, is, this motherfucker was in a Klan hoodie on Rumble uh, uh, doing the Hitler salute and Thanks shit. For the tip. 
and that was on Rumble, and then that moved over to them getting uh, demonetized. They had the, uh, the Nick Fuentes dude on there. Let's see. Lucy Goosey says, I don't even care if she's pregnant. I just think false allegations should be crying. I agree with you, bro. I 100% agree with you, man. Two things can be true at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if she's pregnant. I just, yeah, I believe that as well. If you accuse someone of false allegations, you should do, look at the same time that they were uh, hit with. He couldn't resist... Uh, Lynn King's Gooch says, Lady in class, there you go, there you go. From downtown 296 says, they did say that. They said, I quote, we don't dabble in the dark. Fuck them tethers. Bang! That's what I'm saying. Bang! It's good! Oh, like we making this shit up. Like, hey, yo, what the fuck? It's on tape, bro. It's on tape. We played the clips, man. Like, <sighs> people, if you're going to rock with them, rock with them. I don't care. Like I said, I used to react to their content when I first started. I did. Even though I do, I always could tell that they have issues with their own blackness, but I rock with it anyway. But then after a while, I was like, no, man, I can't do that because I feel that I'm doing doing my channel and also myself a disservice of rock with somebody, even though I know they have these other issues going on. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I ain't making like I'm making this shit up, man. Let's see. Salute to you from downtown 296. Salute to Taya with the one. 50. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the super sticker. Great cash, homie. Salute to you, Tanya. Let's see. Charles says, they were even two races for Pearly. That's what I'm saying. I remember Pearly being in the shot like, Ugh, let me get out of this. Let me get out of this. <laughs> he fucking her grand wizard ass. And she, she was like, nope. Access denied. I ain't going out like this. And then I think she was trying to save her monetization. Then I forget. Just Pearly got demonetized. I think it was like refusing to take down a video of a minor or some shit. Uh, she had a minor on the video, and I believe she refused to take it down. Coffee Boy says, Fresh and Fist also went around copy striking everyone. Exactly. Bro, it ain't exactly, man. Exactly. Yo, Coop, I'm with you. You don't be black and shit on the black people. That shit is like, bro, that's one of my biggest pet peeves, man. And people feel whatever the fuck they want to feel about that. That's one of my own biggest personal pet peeves. You can claim, you can feel however you want to. Just with with me, I don't rock with that shit, man. Fuck you, bro. If you don't you don't want to be, or you got, if you got your issues with you being black, you better keep that shit to yourself around me. That's just me. Coffee Boy says Fresh and Fit also went around. And again, this was before all that other shit. That was some whole ass shit before. That was a couple years before all this other shit before they got demonetized. They went around and you and they went around and lost respect from all the content creators with that fake ass. What they hit TLA. Uh, uh, Jab Jab uh, what's my man name? Uh, Jamari. They hit uh, Abin Preach. They hit Playback. They hit a whole bunch of people with those copyright strikes, and they all end up getting uh taken back. So that was before they that, was, the they did that shit a couple years before they were demonetized, man. If y'all gonna put a cape on people, put the cape on, but just own that shit. Be like, okay, you might not fuck with these people, but I do, Coop. But don't be sitting up in my face, gaslighting me, telling me I'm lying about the shit. What? <laughs> you can, bro, Mr. Jersey already said, Theo, I can't believe people really trying to argue with you about this shit. You can literally, you can literally look it up on YouTube, man. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> Coop, you laughing at the donation. I know I'm cheap. No, I'm tired. I was, no, I wasn't laughing at the don. I wasn't laughing. I wasn't laughing at the donation. I was laughing because I never seen a dollar fifty before. That's what threw me off. <laughs> I never seen I never seen change on there before. That's what threw me off. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's see. If y'all rock with it, rock with it. But don't be throwing. Don't don't. Don't what you say. Don't piss in the air and tell me it's raining. That's when I got a problem with y'all. Y'all better stop that shit. What you got, Squeegee Kid, with the $10 super chat? Quick history. Pearl interviewed Nick Fuentes. Jason Black exposed her. Nick Fuentes did win on Fresh and Fit. Myron puts on Clan Hood, demonetized. Oh, and fuck Pearl and, and fraud and fat. Bang! Bang! It's good! Woo! Woo! And again, I'm not perfect. I'm doing a live stream for 400 people. I don't have no notes, people. So if I'm remembering it inaccurately, if I'm missing uh, step A and step B, forgive me. But overall, the point still fucking stands, man. What the hell is wrong with y'all, man? Salute to you, squeegee kid. Thank you very much for the $10 Thanks super chat. The Any clarification? I'll read it again. Pearl interviewed Nick Fuentes. I remember that. Jason Black exposed her. Jason Black, in my opinion, was the one that got everybody looking at just Pearly funny, like, who is this bitch? I remember that distinctively. And I remember she wouldn't, she would say everybody else's name, but she would not say Jason Black. Nick Fuentes went on Fresh and Fit. Myra puts on the Clan Hood, which was on Rumble, demonetized. Exactly, bro. Thank you, man. Like, I'm tripping in this bitch. Megatron says there's some dudes who still rock with them because they love their talking points. 
all that clan is. Them dudes need to log off and touch grass. Exactly, bro. If you rock with them for the talking points, and that's one of the reasons I start, I was reacting to them when I, when I first started my channel, was for the talking points. But all the other shit, I'm not with it. If you with it, you with it. But don't be up here lying to me, bro. Don't be lying to Thanks me, man. Tip. That shit will not work. Access denied. <laughs> Salute to you, man. What's going on, Dave, with the ten dollar super chat? Great cash, homie. Appreciate you, bro. He says for the collection plate. Salute. Make sure y'all subscribe to the homie. That dude named Dave. Appreciate you very much. And salute to all Thanks the single the mothers tip. in the chat, by the way. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You said I'm a had his kid. Don't care if he's here or not. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. <laughs> Salute to you. Make sure y'all subscribe to that dude named Dave. Appreciate you, bro. Salute to Chicago, man. Young Jay says uh, niggas bug dancing in the chat for Tether. Yeah, bro. It's a sad, sad sight. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I never thought I'd see it here. We might have... But it's good, man. Every now, I'm guessing. I don't know if it's good, but if we already here, every now and then, I think you need. You, I think you need something to kind of see how people really feel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, oh, uh, I can't even catch everybody. I catch y'all niggas on the replay though. I can't even catch what everybody been saying. But don't worry, I'll see you on the. I'll see you in the replay, and I'll identify who has the issues. But yeah, bro. I right, man, again, man. If you rocking with somebody, rock with them. I'm not saying y'all all grown ass men and women. I can't. I can't control you or, or tell you what you can and can't do or nor would i try but if you're gonna own if you're gonna rock with somebody own that shit own it that's all i'm saying Thanks man don't sit up here like coop you lying like all these people don't have access to the goddamn internet and seeing all this shit you better bro, bro you do realize that we can see you lying right people showing who they really are and i love to see it let's get back to it why you didn't want to we off this one. we off this one but we got another one we got another one we got um i've been preach they interviewed old girl, so I'm here for it, man. Let's see what we're talking about. Today on episode two of Surviving Fresh and Fit, I want to get to the bottom of this fiasco. If you uh, haven't seen part one, be sure to go check that out for more context. But I decided that I would interview the woman in question at the heart of this whole thing. She provided me a bunch of screenshots. Now, if y'all Fresh and Fit fans, these are the people y'all need to be mad. I'm just reporting the news. <laughs> I ain't up here making contact, <laughs> chatting, having conversations with old girl. That's these two uh, bitches. Screen recordings and a bunch of different things. And I think it answered a lot of the questions that would have seemed to be unanswered before. Things like whether or not she's a sex worker. She isn't. What was the timeline of events? Did Walter know that she was not on birth control? Was he aware that she was trying to have a child? And did they have discussions about it? <laughs> was he trying to be serious with her? What proof does she have that? All these things are going to get answered over the course of this interview. Uh, but first thing that I have to correct from the previous thing is that Who she's never been a sex worker. Um, turns out she won some kind of beauty pageant. And people just started uploading her page, her photos to some escorting sites. But it was just scam sites. Um, now, whether or not you want to believe that is up to Thanks everyone at home. But to date, there's no actual proof that she does any of that kind of work. On a live stream today, uh, he said that you were never his girl. He's that that? I made a statement on my vlog and on the show multiple times. And I said, this is a matter of fact, guys, look, look it up if you want to. I said, if I a girl's on camera with me, she is what? Not my girl. Let's keep that in mind. If I bring a girl on camera, She's not my girl. You can never see my girl because I know what happens when you break on, on the internet. I learned from experience. That's all I'm gonna say. Listen, this was a great trip. Happy to see my lovely Asian queen again. Uh, but you know, as time passes, we must say farewells for a short period of time until mm -hmm. she comes back. So can't wait to see her back here in Miami. Uh, I brought her. <laughs> 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 no, no, I don't. Love you, babe. Love you. Yeah, I love yeah. you, babe. So he's out here saying he don't claim her. He never claimed her. That's not his girl. But in private, he's saying, I love you. He's saying, you my girlfriend. He moved her in. And on top of that, he publicly on video saying he loved her. Does that sound like somebody who's being treated like a jump off? I'm just saying. Everyone telling she's baby trapping him, all this other stuff. Is she baby trapping him or is he just trapping her? I'm asking the questions. Because the only deception I've seen so far is from him towards her. The only trap I've seen so far is him basically love bombing the shit out of her so he can fuck her as much as he wants. Then when he's done, he just get rid of her. 
well, he's just making him like make make him look like it is right now because clearly, like he made it made that on public and on the conversation you saw it. He calls me girlfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of uh, Abra and Preach either. I just for some reason they be on Fresh and Fit here and they interviewed it. So here we go. Are you gonna take someone to see your <laughs> entire family if she's not your girlfriend? Travel to your home country? That's not reasonable. You can, like, <laughs> casually meeting your mother, that's fine. The first time I met his mother, I was like, water okay, if you decide to do that, I don't mind. Why did you accept being in a non-monogamous relationship with Fresh? Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we were in a long-distance relationship. Because whether I agree or not, he's going to do that. And we weren't stable because we just got to know each other. And, you know, so I was thinking just to be there and move there for like to be with him, maybe, maybe like it would be different, you know, but I don't want to like, it comes to a conclusion in the beginning, like, oh, I'm going to stop this guy from doing everything just because he met me. Because in the early stage of the relationship, I don't want to. Um, then I ask her, well, why do you not want to be intense about monogamy, but you are rushing to have a kid? I asked some tough that's questions. A, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not softballing a, no, it. No, no, I ain't mad at you. No, I, I, I'm, I'm she's like, I'm about like, I don't want to be too intense and like rush like monogamy. So I'm, I'm accepting this. But, but like, you're rushing for. But you want to have a baby with him? Yeah, I, I understand. I understand because um, I just felt like I'm not. I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married. Or if if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for like. A week, like it's not. It doesn't matter. It's the time. It doesn't matter. I was with someone for nine months. He really wanted to marry me. He's American, and I didn't want that. I ended that. <laughs> when I'm when I met Walter. I just felt like, wow, there's so much chemistry. What? I mean, I, I, I agree. I'm, I'm I'm just trying to talk to me. Uh huh. No, I'm not the type of girl that can. I'm not the type of girl. What's what, what happened, Juan Solo? What's your beef? That's gonna have to. That can. I have to wait for a long time before I marry someone. Huh? What type of girl is that? I mean, there's plenty of people who meet their husbands for the first time through arranged marriages or whatever. Yeah, man, yeah, weird. Uh, but I, I don't disagree. I'm just saying that's not that weird. abnormal in different parts weird. of the world. It still doesn't answer the question. It doesn't answer the question of why you want to rush this baby, but you don't want you like you don't want to rush the monogamous relationship. It, yeah. it doesn't answer anything. Yeah, it doesn't. As a matter of fact, it made it weirder. So I'm still questioning. Like, it doesn't absolve the 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 the. the it doesn't absolve of, or, or or take out of the equation the baby trapping thing situation. Because of that answer. That answer was so... <laughs> but that's not baby trapping. That's just... What she's saying is... There's some people out here who are just very, like, feels-oriented. Meaning, oh, I loved her. Well, how do you know? It's been a week. I just feel it. Like, some people are just like that. You know what I'm saying? They're very intuitive. Everything is just... Man, you know what we call them? What? Stupid. Carry on. That's not very smart. That's not... That, that, I agree it's not smart. It's, it's it, like... Ha maybe, having maybe, kids maybe, with somebody you met a week ago maybe what if he claimed he never wanted a baby would that be true he didn't want okay if he say so if he really didn't want a baby after so many times i ask him in person do not come in me he does that every fucking day like he can just pull out <laughs> easy as that because he was always like Oh, I'm doing this with my girlfriend. So really serious conversation, like Thanks for the tip. planning a future and ask me what I want to do. Oh, I want to plan a future with you. Uh, why don't we get a house instead of renting another apartment? And that doesn't make sense, wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And he said, um, what, what if you get pregnant? Isn't that better for a bigger house? Let me grab these super chats real quick. Again, I don't know this shit. And she probably is lying for all I care. Like I said, my issue with Fresh and Fit is 
on that Klansman shit. And I'm looking at the thumbnail from 10 months ago when the home when the homie Myron was doing the Hail Hitler sign. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. Let me grab the super chat. The fact people act like I, was trying, I made that shit up. That's what I got a problem with. Let's see. And I also don't know this chick enough. She probably lying. She probably lied about being pregnant too. For lazy bone in the back. Cooking catnip. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you, Murph. Ready five dollars. Let's see. Uh jock ride ain't easy. <laughs> Straight cash, homie. Straight cash, homie. Again, man. Salute to you, Devontae. If y'all want to rock with somebody, rock with him. But don't be up here like um people's up here like I, I lied about that shit. About him doing the the hell Hitler and the Klansman and all that kind of shit. Like, bro, stop the cap. If you want to rock with him, rock with him. But don't call me a liar just because you want to rock with him. Nah, man, just rock with him. Isaiah 45 with the $5 super chat. Fresh and fit are straight beta sips pretending to be good, strong men. They both pay to play. Old girls on OnlyFans and that uh, uh, and Facebook paid to play. And didn't Myron, didn't Myron a long time ago get caught up in one of those um, sugar daddy sites? I believe y'all let me know in the chat. I don't believe I'm, I'm remembering that inc incorrectly. He got caught up with, with uh, on that sugar daddy shit again, man. Yeah, it's definitely hypocritical, but that's not even my beef with them. But yeah, definitely hypocritical. Lady class with the two dollars super chat. Oh, she's so horny. She Gucci long time. <laughs> Salute to you, low. Let's see. Do not come just for it, bro. Let's pull out. Project Leroy, stop that shit. You. Filthy motherfucker. But come on, man. Like, again, I don't know this chick. She probably is. She probably is lying. Let's see. I, that's why I subscribe from uh, Fresh and Fit since Thomas Dawson. Again, I used to rock with their content, but once that shit, once she proves, once you prove, once, once people show you who they are, believe them, bro. That's my beef with them. I don't even care about this shit. Again, for the thousandth time. My beef with them was on that Hail Hitler. I don't date black women. I don't do Night Riders. All that kind of shit. That was just my beef. But salute to him. I appreciate you, Project Leroy. Salute to him, 80 Black. But hide the money, y'all. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> With your broke ass. <laughs> salute to you, yeah. And I don't know if it's true or not, but I just want to play the drop. Got some bad news for you. You fucking done, son. It's over. <laughs> Let's see, salute to you, AD Blackman. AD really with the tough. $25 super chat. ADT says, it's all a lot. Nobody said a word about these guys since last year. Oh, she was pregnant when they met. Facts. Bang! Bang! It's good! Again, I'm not denying none of that shit. I'm not all here like, oh, man, it's his baby. Thanks for the tip. And all this kind of shit. I don't know, man. I don't know this chick. It's probably not. She probably lying. Maybe she is. Maybe she isn't. Who knows? Coop don't really give a shit. But... I'm here for it, man. Appreciate you, bro. You are our show sponsor with the $25 bomb. I'll get you updated Thanks in one tip. second, AD. Salute to you, though. Pull out. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Salute to you, Arlistic Entertainment. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, let's see. All right, let's get back to it. Let's get back to the interview. Is that baby trapping? They're going to end up together. Is that baby trapping? I'm asking. I didn't even listen to Is that baby preach. trapping? You out here talking about let's get a house together because what if you get pregnant? Is that baby trapping, my boy? I'm just asking. Just asking the question. It's not. It's not. Guys. I understand what you're saying when you're saying it's not, but some of these answers, whoa. Oh. I think they're irresponsible, but that doesn't mean baby yeah. trapping. No. I th exactly. Those are separate things. Exactly. Not pregnant, no baby. She tells that to Walter. He says, oh, you did a pregnancy test? She says, yeah, my period just came and five days ahead. So you play a good game. Okay, what game? Uh, um, This game on bed. I'm confused. Don't worry, we all are. I don't think anybody understood what she meant. And she goes, just kidding. I meant you are safe. Just letting Thanks you know next time you won't be so lucky. Mm. What's that saying? I'm not having a baby. I'm having your baby. Yeah. Next time you're not going to be so lucky. And what does he write? Oh, I wasn't worried. I didn't want to pull out anyway. But that's good that you got your period. So he, oh, so you're being a dick. She's not too happy about it. I didn't reject you because I don't mind being pregnant with your baby. She's being direct. Yeah. She's telling him, and all he says is, no, I'm saying I like you a lot. And This messy ass shit. Once you're happy, I'm happy. So can you understand why she's confused? He, but he, not, he refusing to pull out, busting inside them sugar walls. And now all of a sudden he's been trapped? He don't want to be a dad? <laughs> You have decided that you were not going to pull out of her vagina. So you are not going to pull out of fatherhood. <laughs> care of baby. You are not going to pull out of fatherhood. You're going to take care of the baby. He has no choice. He's going to pay. If I say, bro, I'm going to punch you in the face. Yo, I missed last time, 
but this time I'm going to punch you in your face. And then I'll punch you in your face. No, no, wait, 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 wait. What is that? Hold up. Is that a sucker punch? No, it's not a sucker punch. Especially if you tell me you're going to punch me in my face and I tell you, whatever makes you happy. And I look at you like, whatever makes, if you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Bro. And I get decked in the mouth. That's not a sucker punch. Boys, you were not sucker punched. Take some accountability. Hold that out. Did you always tell him that you would not get an abortion? Oh, I always, I always told him. He knows I'm not getting any abortion. And plus, he didn't care at all. He was like, he's, he was kind of like just admitted that if he, he's going to make, make me pregnant, he's just going to like raise a baby with me. And he, 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 he didn't like say that, but all the, this, this, his action proves that. Doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child. Why don't you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you? No, because, uh. I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me, but then, okay, okay, but at least at least he's not stupid that if he does this to me, I'm gonna get pregnant. I think it's just uh, misunderstood. Maybe he was just being in, in, irresponsible, but for me, he's serious. Yeah, yeah, because I've never met someone like that. Nobody would treat me like that. Like, this is so evil. I've never met anyone like that. I'm not acting like a naive girl right here. Like I traveled a lot of places, but nothing like this. See, that didn't make much sense to me because in my head, I'm like, so you want to be serious with somebody and you want to have a child with them, but you're not getting them to verbally say they also really want to have a child with them. Shouldn't that be something y'all establish properly? Mm. And how, how long have they been to, together? Four or five months. They be busting inside her sugar walls every day, never pulling out. Uh, again, the baby stuff doesn't even get. But dog, you can't. You gotta move better than this, bro. If it's true, ski, ski, skiing in this chick you barely know, man. That's that causes babies. Can you show paperwork for pregnancy tests and ultrasound? A lot of people are saying that stuff is photoshopped or whatever, or it's just like. So I just wanted to at least see if she had actual real paperwork. Uh yeah, I have no problem sharing that. I actually posted. The, uh, okay, so let me explain about the ultrasound. The doctor Messy told me it's still early, four weeks. So he can't, she can't see everything, but she can still see a little bit, like a small quarter of it. But it's just like too, it's too early, you know? It's four weeks. How did you know Pug CEO was the man to bust inside your sugar walls? I have no idea. Thanks for the tip. I just, I just feel like... I just feel like maybe everything happens. It was meant to be, you know, to I meet him even. Uh, out of uh, out of all the people in Miami, uh, every day I go out, I get so many. Um, how to say? Um, approach every day, uh, whatever. The night we met at the party, and there were other guys. There were like another guy. He's really really into me. Uh, so Fresh was there as well. And I just don't know, like somehow, he just got me curious. A year would just subscribe, salute. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Everybody, like out of everybody, like when they see Facts me, 80. they see me interesting, they would come talk to me or making some nonsense. But this guy, he was just like staring at me, not saying anything, like full of questioning on his face. That just caused my curiosity. Because usually, um, you know, I get a lot of approach, so it's not interesting for me. So I was like, okay, who's this guy? And then, okay, finally, he said hi to me. He's like, where are you from? And I said, guess if you're right, um, I will drink. If you're wrong, then you drink. So he was like, okay, this is interesting. And then he DM'd me. And then we went out. And he kind of, <gasps> he's romantic. He's good at planning dates. And he's kind of <laughs> dominant. He was just good at everything, you know. He was saying things to me that made made me feel he it's real, you know. He was genuine and he made me feel special. Maybe no matter what other people were saying, like what he did to other girls or or even I found out later though, not when I just started. You know, what did you think hearing this? What did I think about what? About what you heard right now? I'm not sure. 
Because there's a whole narrative not, that this girl sure. was trying to baby trap him or she wasn't really into him. She's there for the money or whatever it is. But when I hear her speak, you even notice in her face, you see how she smiles when she thinks about him mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Like, I was actually surprised by this part because everyone's asking the same question. You know what people yeah. are asking? Yeah. Yo, why'd you yeah, why, get why, with why, Fresh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you've seen him, but you look at her, that's the face of somebody who's actually into him. But she was impressed. So she was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. You got game. Yeah. So so he, he got so that's just one thing that I want to establish. Okay, why are you exposing him publicly? Why? Why? Because obviously now I hate him. I hate him for not being a man, stand up for his child and not taking the responsibilities after. He can he can he doesn't have to love me or he Thanks can the break up with me. That's fine. For me, it's okay. It's, it's some guy I've seen for four months. I was, I was like going to get over with it, but yeah. I'm pregnant. This is serious for me. This is just a, a bit of a sidewalk, but Fresh and Fit fan accused Fresh of buying you a bracelet for 30 grand on a podcast. He said he never paid a dime. Nobody has a receipt. Is this true? The Chinese escort, because I'm about to get Fresh on this one too. So Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long <laughs> cleave bracelet, which are worth up to 30K, to a Chinese escort you had just met. Now Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. So many proof. But the escort says that you did. Look at her page in detail. What does she have under? Multiple gifts? From herself, by the way, or from her ex. Whatever she does for her money, bro, is up to her. So to put that on me, just because you want to say, oh, Fresh is a simp, wrong. So you didn't buy it. Fresh, so can you no. You're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet. He didn't buy the bracelet. And no, it's not true. He he paid he paid half and I paid half. Like like <laughs> I said, how much around 30k? Uh well first I I still have the conversation. I told him, what's the issue if you tell everyone you bought me the bracelet? Like, why can't you tell everyone? Why can't you just speak the truth? Like, why are you like pretending it, like hiding it? But then he was like, don't say it. He just tell me to shut up. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal to them. Yes. It's a big deal to the fans and it's a big deal to them because yes. it really makes you look like I see them. Yep. And I wouldn't give a shit. You give things to people, you give things to people that you appreciate. 15 grand? Wait a minute. <laughs> Some of you just met? But these guys always want to claim they don't pay for nothing, they don't oh. do none of this stuff. They, need they, don't, have. they don't use their money to get... But you realize they all do it. They all doing it. You, they're they're paying for random girls' apartments. They're all doing this kind of stuff. So why is he lying? Not because it's a big deal, but it's like Preach said, it's a big deal to the fans. And now you have to double down, triple down on the lie. And it's almost insulting because your fans are being like, yo, are you living up to your principle? I also think she's talking out her ass too, though. And again, I've been Preach, they've had a bone to pick with Fresh and Fit. And I believe their beef started. Somebody correct me in the chat, or if y'all say I'm making this shit up too, but they beef started over the copyright because if I remember correctly, ABBA was on, was actually like in Fresh and Fit studio before. And I believe that they had beef at once they started copyrighting striking everybody. And ever since then, ABBA and Preach been on their neck. Again, not the biggest fan of ABBA and Preach, but it is what it is. And I also think this chick is contradicting herself uh, like crazy. So yeah, let's see. So it's a squeegee kid with the five dollars super chat. Let me grab these super chats real quick. The fresh remix. You dummy hit it raw. You didn't have second thought. Facts, man. I do it again, man. Salute to the squad. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. You said I'm a had his kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. <laughs> Salute to you, squeegee kid. A.D. Blackman says, if the baby's real, I'll feel bad for that baby. His parents are idiots. That's a fact, bro. I hope this baby ain't, I hope for this baby's sake, this whole this whole thing is capped. Salute to you, squeegee kid. Appreciate you with the $5. Great cash, homie. Let's see Sean Jackson back in that super chat. What you got, Sean? In her culture, she's a leftover woman. She's trying to cash out. That's a game. That's a fact. Goddamn right. Exactly, bro. Exactly, man. I'm not, I wasn't really paying attention to this shit. Now I'm listening to her. I'm like, ah, uh, it's some cap in there. And again, Abba and Preach have a bone to pick with um, with Fresh and Fit. So, of course, they're going to try to make it seem like whatever she say, you see, he's lying, he's lying, he's lying. So, I think it's up to the, I think it's ultimately up to the person who's watching the content to consume it and, and, and you know, let us know what you think about it, not what they're trying to get you to, to pick up because I smell some bullshit as well, man. So, look to you, Sean Jackson. KB LaFerre, what you got, bro? Never understood why they just don't get the bread and keep it moving. Niggas could have found a solid chick by now. Yeah. 
Salute to you, uh, KB. Well, their issue is this, bro. They let the money, and because it's real money in this YouTube shit, man. Once you start making some money, bro, I was able to do this shit full time at like fifty thousand subscribers, man. Can you, I can only imagine the money that these dudes was getting before they were demonetized at a million, a million subscribers, man. It's money in this shit, man. And certain people, and money reveals. Let's, let's say, these money is the root of all evil. Money reveals who people really are, bro. It reveals who people truly are. And instead of just getting money, like you said, and keeping moving, finding you a chick, they have to be, no, I'm this big influencer. I'm a coach. I'm a guru. Listen to me. I know everything and all this kind of nonsense, bro. And it's just that ego, man. It's that ego, man. Salute to you, uh, KB LaFleur. Make sure you guys subscribe to the homie KB as well, man. Appreciate you, bro. I was in your live stream the other day, man. Salute to Project Leroy back in the Super Chat. I've been preached did horrible not debunking, the Abbott Priest did horrible not debunking her lies. Yeah, exactly, bro. And that was my point, Project Leroy. They have a bone, so, th so they're going to be biased as well because they got a bone to pick with uh, Fresh and Fit. All right, let's get back to it, man. Appreciate you, bro. You're like, yes, I am. You guys are lying and saying I'm not. When you just asked the girl, just like, oh, no, he's lying about it. So not. the only reason I brought this up is because Fresh can't be trusted about what he says on this topic because he's already proven time and time again he's going to lie to protect his reputation. Do you think that all this is good for your future baby? That's another good fucking question. <laughs> it's not. That's why I... In the beginning... Oh, the fake it's tears. It's for the baby, actually. With the fake tears. Um, that's why I'm just... I just want to tell the truth. Because when I, when I first test positive... And I was just kind of shocked because I just want to see where he's at, head's at. And then I, I try to like talk to him. I called him. I text him. She acts like nothing happened. Like not my business. Like woman, not my business. Deal with, deal with it. We're not together. Like don't call me. Don't text me. Things like that. That's that was his behavior. I have a thirty-seven minutes conversation between me and him what if you think we don't keep the baby because we're not together anymore things happen and i'm gonna take care of you i'm gonna take you to the hospital that would be fine i'll be okay but he the, he did completely the other the other way around that just that just made me so sad that just made me so sad how can you how can you uh you 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 said you love me like literally two yeah. weeks ago and wanted to claim a future with me and now you you're acting like this with me uh when did you tell him you're pregnant uh on the 30th <laughs> yeah, Welcome yeah to i called him immediately um when when i exposed him when i when i start to decide to expose him. right there i'd asked her when did you call the lawyer mm. so she she uh so essentially what happened was she called him on the 30th of March, being like, hey, wait, 30th of March? Am I thinking the right date? What are, what are we right now? March. Or April. Or April? Okay. I'm oh, sorry. So we called her on 30th of March, telling him she's pregnant. And I think on April 4th, that's when she started exposing him. So yeah, on April she, 4th. denied and everything. Is yeah, because down. when she contacted him, he's just like, bro, I don't know you. Get the fuck away from me. I'm like, no, that's your problem. Go deal with it. And so she's like, yo, you got me pregnant. You just going to disappear on me. So when she exposed her, she's like, I'm calling a lawyer. I'm going to figure this whole shit out. And so that's the timeline of how things went down. It's two plus two. Four. Two plus two is four. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, that's my thing. No, no. <laughs> what? And then I asked her, who decided that? What? Who decided that? That's, that's just logic. That's just uh, the math. Without without this, the word doesn't function. You can't count on anything. Everybody knows that. Um, idiot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and we, I needed to know the answer. You're okay. not good. Okay. And the CDT right here, bro. Stop telling these bros you love. That's suck. That is such sucker shit, man. That's such suck. That's sucker shit, bro. <laughs> He's uh, probably undereducated. Uh, he well, he doesn't have anything else to say on the podcast. Uh, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Why? Wow. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I mean, you can't talk shit about God it. God damn. He was calling your sugar walls. I'm just saying. Yeah. God damn, Abba. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't realize Thanks that before. Because I, <laughs> I just thought he's funny. 
then then you're gonna end up with a dumb just... baby. Yeah. She was calling him. I'm glad Abilise held her on that. She was calling him stupid, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Oh, oh, oh I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> um, any regrets about how this whole thing has unfolded so far? Uh, yeah. First, for being so dumb, letting him come inside on me without marriage. Um, and I don't, I don't regret exposing. I don't. Yeah. What's who, who's Abba? I asked her if she's gonna have a boy. Does she know what she's gonna name him? <laughs> oh my god! I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me this question because I don't. I don't. I haven't decided yet. What about the name Abba? <laughs> Facts, bro. <laughs> well, I got so many DMs already that they want to step in and they want to be the stepfather. <laughs> <laughs> already, things are stepping in trying to be the stepdaddy. Step in the name of love. I, I will say this. Step in the name of love. If you end up having legal troubles and they sue you or whatever, if you name that kid after me, I'll pay for all your legal troubles. That's a promise. So if you need a help financing a lawyer to fight off fresh fit, facts. Man, you mean? Lady of class says right here he trapped himself. That's a fact, Lady of class. God damn right. I didn't lie to. I never been. I think Alexander X and CDT Beast was talking about it in the chat. You ain't got a lot of women to tell them like you love them and all that. That's to me that's bullshit. One, cause you don't mean it. It's obviously. And then two, man, when they start believing that shit and start acting accordingly, even when you know it's bullshit. Don't be sitting up here telling no woman you love her and all this, and all this kind of bullshit. That's whack in my opinion. If, uh, if Walter Jr. Opinion. over there got the name Abba, I'll pay all them bills. I'll sleep. I'll, hey, listen. As far as I'm concerned, I think you deserve every dime. What's her name? We don't know her last name. Daisy. That's what we all call her, okay? All Imagine right. she names him Abba Preach Daisy. <laughs> I'm paying them legal fees. I will I will double the video output on this channel to pay for little Abba Preach Daisy to get all that child support. Every dime. If that nigga's going to have Walter's genetics, she deserves child support. He's going to need every financial advantage to be able to make it a life. And he's going to have Pug CEO's genetics. I'm with it. Okay? That's a promise, Daisy. Just, just drop our names. Even if it's just middle names, I'll take that. I just want my legacy. To live on it. <laughs> Yo, don't lie. That's gangster. I've said something. I'll pay every I've, dime. I've, I said something. Oh, to be clear, guys, I'm not joking. I will pay for the lawyer if that baby has my name in. You don't even know how much the lawyer fees can be. Bro, do you see how I live my life? You don't think I got money to spend? This will be one of the greatest hobbies I will ever undertake. I was looking straight at the camera and I didn't flinch. You better not. And I'll say this too. I'm going to also encourage her to make sure she share custody. So that every time little Abba preach Daisy go up to Walter, she goes, Papa, hey, my baby. Dada. <laughs> oh. Boy. That's crazy. Hey, listen, you know what they say, right? Revenge is a dish best served with some child support. You're going to have <laughs> That's crazy. Thank, thank you so much. Okay. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. A couple things. So they had had discussions in private. Uh, text messages are right here. Mm -hmm. where, Super petty. Okay, so a couple weeks back, she taken a pregnancy test. This is like maybe a month and a half ago. And she goes, hey, listen, guys, at the end of the day, this is what I think. And this goes to all the guys who are watching at home, all right? If you guys want to do this thing where you're going in and rock, because I know a lot of you guys like doing it, have conversations about whether or not she's on birth control. And if she's not, you guys got to have a different conversation at that point. Bro. Right here, Randy. Stop having unprotected sex, dumbass. That and here's the other thing. Don't be believing women when they say they're on birth control. Don't be believing it because, fellas, what you're doing is you're putting your future in their hands. And the last thing you want to do ever is put your future in someone else's hands. You got you know how many men have had sex with women? Women tell them, it's probably men in this chat right now. I know it's men in this chat. It's done happened to where a woman has told you, I'm on birth control, and you find out she ain't. Ah! Oh yeah, I'm on birth control. Oh yeah, I'm, oh yeah, you can you can ski, 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 ski. Oh baby, bro, bro. Man, don't even leave it up to them. 
wear a goddamn condom or don't fuck at all. Bang! Bang! It's good! I know, fellas. It and that's where it takes dick discipline. Don't even believe them Thanks for, for the your tip. sake. For your sake. Don't even believe and, and I'm not calling I'm not saying every single woman is a liar. And I'm not saying your girl lied. But I'm saying for your sake. Don't put your future in anyone else's hands. A woman can tell you, oh, yeah, I'm on the pill and I'm on birth control. And you never goddamn know. And you never did you know, with this baby, this arm baby that you don't want. Is that an arm baby? Y'all know I don't do arm babies. Throw that baby in the trash can, respectfully. Birth control, they still got herpes. That's a fact, too, AD. But, man, don't put that shit, because women won't lie to you, man. I'm not saying every single woman, but they won't lie to you. Some women will lie to you to try to keep you. Thinking that that baby gonna keep you, and then you gonna mean now you a single mom. Don't even put yourself. Don't even do it, man. Been there, done. I get some OG coop now. I've been there, done that, man. Let's see. Uh, let me deal to them. They make dumb. <laughs> I don't believe. I had someone say, "Salute to you, Dave." I had someone say she got abortion, but she never did. Came to find out, she was never pregnant. Yeah, bro, this shit happens, man. It happens. I'm on birth control. I don't think I can get pregnant. Comic excuse. Exactly. Exactly, Sean. They just act like STD. That's another one. Is hell. People don't even be talking about that. Uh, people be, uh, it burns. You know what I'm saying? STD crazy, bro. Let's see. We tell our sons all the facts, Lope. Let me grab these super chats real quick. Let me see my all caught up. I am not most Project Leroy with the $5 super chat. What you got, P.L.? Most Asian 304 chase black men for the for the bag. Chase white men for protection and power. Her her Jenny Lee Tila. I forgot about Tila Tila Tequila. Kamora Lee. The results speak for themselves. That's a fact. You're goddamn right. Salute to you, Project Leroy, for the five dollar super chat. That's a fact. Sheila says Buddhist 304 facts. Move this man. <laughs> Let's see. Squeegee kisses. Don't believe. I know my cycle exactly, man. Rubbers and Plan B on deck. There you go, uh, Ty Pro. After you smash, you grab the rubber, throw it in the trash can, and then in the morning, you grab her while she's sitting at the breakfast table. You grab her from behind, from the back of her neck, and you shove Plan B's down her throat, man. That's what you do. <laughs> Just in case. But like, hey, bitch, look over there. Urgh, gotcha, bitch. Urgh. <laughs> start feeding that shit to right, I'm just being dope. Salute to you, Sheila. Channel member for a year. Sheila, day one sub. Salute to you, Charles. What you got, bro? Does Fresh know voodoo? Because it's hard to believe that this woman is really into him. That's good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard Tila Tequila in forever, bro. Let's see. That's a good point. I don't know, man. Where's he from? Uh, Barbados. I don't know if it's that. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's, uh, they got a like voodoo shit. I don't know, bro. He has something, man. He ain't right in the head. Let's get back you to it. You got to talk about, like, this is not a situation where they talked about it. Shove the she's plan like, B's. oh, I would definitely get an abortion. And then she changed her mind after the fact. She's telling him what she's going to do. She tells him what she wants to do. And he went along with the ride to knowing full well what it was. How is that a trap? Stop Suchi saying J. this shit. I'm fine with calling. There's some women who definitely do that. That's not one of these situations, okay? Mm. So, it's okay. His podcast is all about holding women accountable. He can hold this L and he can hold that accountability as well. He needs to be accountable for what he said and what he's done. That's his for the head like She that. didn't do nothing wrong. Well, let me rephrase. That's not true. She wasn't the one that's most at wrong for this because it seems like she's clearly communicating he's not. There that's what it is. That's fair. Yeah, and he's the one said, oh, she's not my girl in conversations. Oh, you're my girlfriend. I love you. Nigga, what is going that you're not you're not consistent. And you guys know damn well everyone in the RP space would be like, if this was a woman, they'd be like, bro, <laughs> look at jokes. women so emotional, never consistent, blah, blah, blah. What the fuck is this guy doing? And you know what? The fans are noticing. Because they up in the comments, they're letting them know about the <coughs> recent life. So they're not happy with it. And actually, did you see the recent life they did with <laughs> no. the lawyer? No spine. And that's the reason why a lot of you mother are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit. Dorks with no money and no one respects you because you mother don't stand for nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is. Okay? It is what it is. You fuckers. Oh shit, it's getting shaky. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave. I got 20 real estate properties so I can tell mother you. My net worth is over six million. I get money residually. I don't need to do this and I don't need to sell my soul. I stand with my Thanks for the friends. Period. All right? Some of you mother need to get a spawn you jellyfish SpongeBob in the pineapple house pieces of shit. It pisses me off how soft all you mother are, bro. It's ridiculous. You mother haven't stepped in the gym in three weeks trying to tell me how to be loyal to my 
friends. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> All right? I'm tired of you. Leave Fresh. Leave Fresh. He's only there. He's only there. Do. All right? I don't need to make a fucking cent off this podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me because I knew that if I want to say what the fuck I want to say you and not sell my soul, I need to go ahead and bring residual income coming in every month so I can sit here and tell you f***ers, you, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to say what the I want to say and I'm going to what anybody got to say. Right. You sound like you don't care. Everyone believes you too. Yeah. Bro, let's go. <gasps> Oh man! Oh my! That was glorious, bro. That was glorious. Oh my god, that was so good. He made some points, dude. But that is so glorious. Everybody need a friend like Myron, bro. That's what I was gonna hit him with, Big Hody. That's what I was gonna hit him with. Today. <laughs> right, Dave? That boy lose his shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll say this: hate him or love him. Everybody, I said it earlier, everybody need a friend like Myron, bang, bro. Bang! It's good! Everybody, I love to see the rant thing on the screen. It's not me for a change. Everyone, I say this before, I love him, I hate him. Everybody need a friend like Myron, bro. He went off on this bitch. Let's go, that's, man. That's, that's, that's know, the right. face of someone who's not bothered and doesn't care. <laughs> not bothered one bit. Not a bit. Not one bit. <laughs> me, when I wake up and I'm not bothered, I just wake up. <laughs> Jesus. I have my soul. I have my spine. I have my integrity. I got my ten toes and my two feet. And I stand where the fuck I stand. And if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face. Cause I can look in the mirror and be happy with the man that I see. You mother, you losers that sit there and say, "Oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You should leave. Why do you stay by Stinko? Do you stay by the Tate? Do you still think they're having Trump Chris versus the idiot? Why are you still there? Chris drinks too much. Hey, 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 shut the doesn't care, remembers every criticism, bro. This mother f staying up late on Reddit being like, what did they say about my friends? How can I defend them more for shit? Jesus. If you don't care, just don't talk about it. Move on. <laughs> Shut the f up. That's why no one respects you, mother Because you don't stand for anything. If there's anything you guys can learn from this podcast, learn this. <laughs> We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People who fuck Every time we go through some bullshit, people make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely destroy us. Thanks for the you know tip. who was around me the whole these. So you mother can say whatever the you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna stand by the guy. <laughs> bro, bro, this has got to be one of the gayest speeches, bro. If you close your eyes, Thanks you would think tip. it's about a broad. I'm not going anywhere. I don't care if you have cancer. <laughs> well, chill, chill, chill out. Jesus. Guys that stand by me because you <laughs> piece of shit off when I'm going through it. You piece of shit off there when I'm figuring out what the f I'm going to do because we got the mindset. <laughs> you motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in the mom came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this lied and said that I got a. Hey, hey. We were, buddy. Yeah, we were there. Did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same. Allegations again, you f idiots! I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right f here, bro. If these guys had the same energy about their girls as they do this fucking podcast, <laughs> they'd be in the most successful marriages. They got, they Jesus, got he going off, bro. As, uh, did he? <laughs> we ain't go in nowhere. <laughs> we ain't go, 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 going nowhere. Oh, we man. can't be stopped now until the feds fucking... come. <laughs> You go in the coop right here. That's a WWE right bang, now. Bang! It's good. My should have ended it like this. And that's the bottom line. Because <laughs> Stone Cold said so. Jesus, why is he yelling since go Creek? Great question. Yeah. Jeez. Be loyal to the he people. going off, bro. Doesn't matter what they doing. Doesn't matter what it is. That's her choice. Uh, you know, everybody got a different idea of what it is oh. to be loyal. Some people think loyalty is like, yo, you could murder 10 people and I'm going to still be your boy. Yo, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I value my friends, but I also value my values. I don't want my friends to stand <laughs> by me unconditionally. Friendships are conditional. Oh. Absolutely. Guess what? If you go out and you touch kids, I'm not going to be your friend anymore. Oh, what? Uh, you would? You guys are going to stand by your homie after he's diddling kids? No. Okay. Everyone got the conditions. Everyone got the lines. The only difference is that some people's lines are a little bit further than others. It's funny. That's, That's so great. It's funny because what you claim to be loyalty... 
is the exact opposite of accountability. <laughs> Which one do you want? If you are loyal, because at this point I don't think it's loyalty, <laughs> but, but, but whatever. When you claim to be loyal like that, no matter, no matter what the f*** up is, we don't talk about, you have to throw accountability out the door. I think a real Leo says, Leo, it's a good drop. I might keep it, bro. I got the drop. If it's like 30 seconds of my I already got, I haven't downloaded it yet, but I know I, I got you, bro. I got you. It's no longer accountability. Because no matter what, <laughs> right, Bella? no matter this, no matter that, I'm going to have your back no matter what. All that, <laughs> the, the accountability is out the door. But and that's facts, though. Because if these guys were loyal to their fan base, they wouldn't be bringing on scammers. They wouldn't be bringing on fraudsters. People they know are doing this stuff, <laughs> but because their friends are going to do that. So in order to be loyal to your friends, you're going to betray your audience, the ones that you claim you're trying to save. Like I said, oh, everyone got their different definitions. This is not mine. But it's fine. It's fine. Back to this whole thing. Listen. I think my stance that I originally had, I think, bears out. I think this girl fell in love with this guy. Doesn't seem to be a sex worker. And he played her. Ended up getting her pregnant, and now he's having buyer's remorse. Oh, he's definitely having buyer's remorse. I'm not buying that she, that she fell for him. Come on now. That's why I said, that, and that's why I said, I'm pointing out, I'm neutral in this bitch. That's why I said clearly, Abba and Preach, they had a bone to pick with Myra with Fresh and Fit ever since Fresh and Fit hit him with the copy strike a couple years ago. They've been beefing back and forth since, ever since then. So yeah, they have a perspective on this. I don't. <laughs> this shit is hilarious, but I won't sit up here and act as if this woman it doesn't seem like she's full of shit as well. Gina, Gina, Gina from Martin. What it do, baby? First of all, she says, he says this to himself in the mirror every morning. <laughs> I'll tell you. You motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay. When I get finished with you. Oh my God, that was glorious. <laughs> Salute to Abbott and Preach. I will get you guys off my screen. Thank you very much. Um, that is that was great, man. The sassy tether. Did I miss any uh, Joe Biden with that? That would be, I, I got look, all right. I I'm already I got you, I got I got y'all on the drop already. To make sure I didn't miss any uh super chats. Does fresh no voodoo because it's hard to believe this? Well, yeah, I got this one. Salute to you, Charles, in the lady of classes question. Does she need a green card? I wasn't even picking up on that. Um Look, that is a good point. Does she need a green card? Green card bay? A reverse green card bay? Salute to you, Loke. That might that's, that's a great observation. Salute to Project Libra back in that super chat. But I, Myra needs that box. <laughs> Myra needs the boxes cry. Man. <laughs> oh, bro. No, we don't. Here we go, bro. Here we go, man. Where is it? Oh, I got it right here, bro. Because I know somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. A salute to you, bro. Let's see. He shouted a little during that case. Says she's not in love with him. This feud is immature. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I'll give this to even though, like I said, I don't really care about either one. I've been preach or Fresh and Fit. I'll give this to him though that I totally believe that Fresh and Fit started it because Fresh and Fit. If you guys didn't familiar or weren't familiar with that a few years ago, they were the ones copy striking, copy striking everyone, everyone. They even copy strike TLA. TLA was like, I'm a fucking lawyer. What the hell you think you're gonna do with me? So. They lost respect from a lot of content creators off top when that happens. They even went at Kevin. I believe they went at KS after KS uh, passed or something or had him on the show. They had some beef. I believe what well, KS was actually still alive. So I'll get them out of here. Salute to you, Project Leroy. Let's see. Remind me about the do, the do Better Weather update. I got that ready. Let's see. Is he really that mad, bro? That's so funny. <laughs> that is so funny, Event Horizon, bro. He's so goddamn mad, and I love it, bro. I love it. I'm going to go find a drop while we play this next clip, man. Salute to you, Event Horizons. Let's see. I think I'm all caught up on the Super Chats. All right, let's see. This is this this is a lot earlier in the show. I'm glad I had an extra clip. Let's see. I got an extra clip here. This is, oh my God. This is, I, I didn't know if it was going to run a bit early, so I brought this extra clip out. I'm going to go find the other clip I have of, of Fresh and Fit and make it a drop. Well, we got Kendra G. And here's the reason. I don't, I don't, I try not to do Kendra D until Friday, but we have a trauma 
Shirley came on here trauma dumping, y'all. Hit the like button. We off this fresh and fit. And yeah, let's get Shirley came on Kendra G trauma dumping. You right? Fresh and fit started it all. Yeah. They started it all, bro. Okay. Nice. They started all this shit, man. They started all this, all that shit with the copyright strikes, and then it went even further, bro. Let's see. You ready? Yes. Okay. Now you got breasts. I ain't think yeah, nobody right. got breasts bigger than mine, child. They're huge. You got, you got, now I got some big breasts, child. You yeah. got me beat. <laughs> They're huge. Kendra G, big boobs? I don't know. You got <laughs> Man, men beefing on YouTube is so silly. Absolutely. That's why I say you won't never see me beefing with nobody on YouTube, bro. Never, man. I'm too old for that shit. With that being said, it's content for them. Not, I'm not, not content for me, but it's content in this money. It's money in this shit, y'all. That's what I mean. Y'all, I think a lot of y'all don't really understand that. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying like in general. Those guys make a video, a million view video and get tens of thousands of dollars. Anyway, it's not the point. Uh, what I was going to say here. Remind me once we remind me once this is over. Noter Bolt says AD. Remind me once it's over. We need to go to Kendra G uh IG, bro. I see something yesterday and it's funny, man. So y'all remind me. You ready? Yes. Okay. Now you got breasts. I ain't think nobody had breasts bigger than mine, child. They're huge. You, you got you got now. I got some big breasts, child. You yeah. got me beat. <laughs> They're huge. Hey, Kendra, what you got? Some C cups? I mean, I don't think is Kendra double D in out here. Y'all let me know. I didn't think she was like that. That chick over here got some big old. I, but I don't want a motorboat. You that. got me, B, honey. What's your name, hey, love? Mary. Mary. That's what I'm saying, Mary, Jay. Where you calling us from, baby? Talk about it. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee. How old are you? Forty. You don't want me to know your age? Why are you whispering it? 40. Okay, but why was you like whispering it? Because I'll be forgetting how old I am. How you forget how old you are? Larry says you need an elephant sound on your soundboard, Theo. You talking about like this? <laughs> Let's get back to it. Okay. 40. What's She's the zodiac sign? Yeah, Gemini. Damn. Gemini. What you do for a living, mama? I take care of my child. How many kids do you have? One child. How old is your child? 16. 16. Um... Is by by child support? He's not involved in my child's life. Okay. So how do you get paid? I work. I take care of her. So you get paid to take care of her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is she dealing with a condition trying to be sensitive? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> so uh, Mary Milwaukee, 40, Jim and I, has one child that's 16. Her job is to take care of her child. Um, I think I have it all. What kind of man you looking for? No mama? way. Yes. Sheila said Kendra's an H. That's no way. Is she really? <laughs> There's no way Kendra been hiding some H cup, Sheila. Are you messing with me? Let's get back Somebody to it. Somebody that's open, honest, down to earth. Um, I've been drooling. Not a cheater, not crazy, not abusive. Um, if he's in church, that's okay, too. Okay. Um, what are your deal breakers? Liars. Thieves. Damn, is she? You're the second girl that said thieves. A man stole from you before? He stole my rent money. How did he steal your rent money? It was on top of the refrigerator and he stole it. Why was your rent money on top of the refrigerator? Because I was supposed to go to the uh, money order place the next day. The same day. This and sound like some bull. You're the second guest that told me no Steven man. You men out there better stop stealing from the single moms at that. Stop, Stop having thieves in your for apartment. <laughs> now, how did you find out he sold it? Did he ever come clean? Because he was the only one there. It was my daughter and me, and it was all, he was the only one there. He wouldn't admit it? No. Mm -hmm. Trifling. Very. Okay, so no men that steal. What else? Um, Crazy, abusive. Jail man, please leave me alone. Jail men like you? I don't know why. Well, how do they reach out to you? They go through people that's in jail and they hit Shit. Me and try to hook me up with them. So you got friends in jail? No. My people know people in jail. Wait, explain to me how this works. I know somebody that knows somebody that's in jail. Okay. What? And then the men in jail ask like, the people that no, you know somebody that to hook you up with you? Yeah. But how do they see you? Through the visit. Also, you're visiting people in jail. 
Yeah, they'll visit. It's like cam on the um, computer or a tablet they have. Okay. And then they'll show, be like, this is my cousin, brother, whatever, who's ever in there. And this is Maybe. who she is. I never know. The kids just boobs that big. I never know. I didn't either. I didn't know they was big. People saying H cups. I don't think the H is. X is denied. But I listen to the ladies. They saying, no, nah, cool. Kendra got big boobs. I guess I just never noticed. So I want to make sure I'm clear. Are you visiting a person that's currently in jail? No. What is she talking about? So someone's, okay, y'all can say I'm slow. I'm really confused. So someone that you know visits somebody in jail? Yes. And they're bringing a photo of you when they go? No, it could just be I know somebody that's in jail. My cousin, uh, they'd be like, hook me up with your cousin or your friend. Okay, well, that's just a general. I, I thought it was like they specifically are asking about you in jail. Oh, no, no. no. Okay, okay, now we got, because I was like, how would they specifically know to ask about you in jail? Okay, I got you. So your cousin or somebody in jail, and then they hit you up, say, yo, I got a homie in here who's looking for someone. Yes. Okay, all right. So none of those type of men? No. Okay. All right, so the guy look a certain way? Yes. No. Well, I'm on a weight loss journey journey so i'm trying to lose weight so if a man that's i know i'm gonna get a lot of hell because i'm big but um i'd rather have somebody that's trying to go on a weight loss journey with me um and that's it okay so if a man is big you want to be willing to work out with you correct okay what about money should he make a certain amount of money no as long as he got his own money i'm not gonna he got his own money you don't care correct all right let's do the kendra cam Okay. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Thanks for the tip. What y'all think, fellas? That's what I was trying to ask. What y'all think? Turn around on him. What y'all think? I'll let you know. Squad is cover your eyes. I wish I could too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I always pause for the tip. Kendrick cam for my fellas can take it in, take to get an eye for. I don't think they appreciate it right day, right now though. Mr. Guap says million mile journey, her getting up. Alexander says no. <laughs> Young Jay says, <laughs> what kind of stomach is that? Damn, cue up the elephant sound. I just did it, bro. Here, here I do this one. A little ma'am, this is for you. Chili's, I'm on my baby back ribs. I'm on my baby. Chillies, baby, back ribs. Barbecue sauce. I'm Double D's and don't like and don't like Kendra's. She's bigger than Double D's. Sheila. What it do, baby? Respectful. That's a, is that a black version of Black Bastard? That's a mammoth. No thank you. Uh, no thank you. Larry says. Access denied. All right, let's get back to it, y'all. Turn around on him. Mary, you're 40. What's the age range you want to date? 35 to 45. That's okay, crazy. When was your last <laughs> Eight years ago. Eight, eight? You've been single for eight years? Yes. The last time I had sex was um, my mama passed February. So around February. March. Of this year? My mom passed February last year. Oh, man. So, sorry about your mom. Thank you. Um, and the last time you had sex <laughs> was last year, February. Yes. Okay. Okay. What are three flaws you have to work on, Mary? Anger issues. Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> talking about other people. Um, and <laughs> telling people, yes. I need to work on stop telling people, yes. Okay. Um, you got a pay question. You ready for it? Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, L double I said she knows she couldn't trust Pookie. She got comfortable and took an L. Bet Pookie still hit after he stole her rent money. He didn't <laughs> put that on cash at me. I bet you he didn't. Now, now what? Anger. I gotta work on it. Stop playing with me. I bet you he didn't. Now what? Bet you he didn't get that vagina no more after that. Oh my God! Any other questions? Any more? Any, any, any more? Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Huh. You thought you thought he gonna steal my rent money? And then, 
like really stop playing with me. Like, like you think I'm that girl? That girl. Oh, let me fix this chat. Don't play with her. I'm not. L double I. All right. Well, you did your three flaws? Yes. Okay. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm funny. I'm down to earth. Open minded. Cool. I'm not going to ask you for no money. I'm not going to ask you to help me. I got more and more flaws. I take care of my daughter. No help. Daddy ain't around. So that's it. Do you want a man to be like a father figure to your child? No. No. My already does that. I have uncles, cousins, nephews. That's for the tip. I don't need a man to help do any of that. But my, I don't need no man to try to come in and try to help take care of my daughter. Because then they think they run this stuff. It's not going to happen. Okay, so what, what role do you want to play in your life? Thanks for the tip. A supportive role. Being there to somebody to talk to. Hang but out. What a man that's a supporter help you with taking care of your child? No. Like going out, hanging too. out places. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> let's do it let's do it Mary what was the AO you told me um, should he be in Milwaukee yes. let, me, let me grab these super chats real quick <laughs> she lives in Delaware and Catfish is airman that's great Bistro let me grab these super chats real quick thanks for uh, the tip and this is the other thing as well I, I could be wrong here I think I think this also I think Shirley is also doing a little bit of dry begging <laughs> y'all see it because I watch this I usually blind react to clips but I watched this in its entirety yesterday. That's funny, Bistro. Let me grab these super chats. Let's see. Spike Spiegel says, internet beef is tofu. Albuquerque in the building. Facts. Goddamn right. Yeah, but I, that's what I believe, man. I'm following the late, great Kevin Simons. I ain't beefing with people on the internet, man. I'm not beefing with nobody, bro. If someone want to make, make a video about me, they make a video about me. I just thought about something, yo. <laughs> that dude named Dave is in the chat. I just thought about something now just popped in my mind. Didn't that ninja with the fucked up grill, what was his name? Um, that dude named David. That dude named David still in the chat. What was that dude's name? Leroy something. He made a video about about. He made a video. He made a video about a couple of you. I know he made a video about you. Then later he told me he made a video about me. I completely forgot about that shit. <laughs> that was like eight months ago. I just remember that right now, man. I'm not beef with no ninja on the internet. Salute to you, Spike Spiegel. At least that's just my opinion. Salute to Jay Gray says. Uh, Jesus, another cow back. You let your... <laughs> Stop that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. I forgot about that shit till you said something, man. Oh, bro. That's so funny, bro. Our holistic entertainment says that's a small bathroom. <laughs> or is it me? It's definitely a small bathroom. <laughs> well, that's not small. Leroy, Leroy going, at, Thanks for the tip. going at me. Oh, his name is Leroy. His name was Leroy going at me. You. Yeah, he was just like picking random people. Oh. Uh, and Dave was in there. Dave was going off. Dave, Dave was, was roasting his ass in the chat. I was like, I'm not even watching that shit. Let's see. It's a Thanks small bathroom or a big person, Arlistic. I might be a mixture of the two. <laughs> Salute to you, bro. Mr. Guap says, she on Section 8. Her rent is $24. Bro, you are... You're goddamn right. You already know this a fact. He's still getting 20K views, says Dave. Dave, bro, I wouldn't... I remember that dude was at like 10,000 subscribers after 10 years on YouTube. I'm like, bro, I had that shit in six months. <laughs> like, no, you're doing something wrong. Salute to you, Mr. Guap. Well, let's see. Salute to Tom Etheridge says, looks like 400 pounds of chew bubble gum. Salute to you, bro. And salute to hide the money, y'all. Hide, hide the, the money, money. y'all. There's poor people around <laughs> <laughs> with your broke ass. <laughs> salute to you, RTB Fit, our show sponsor with the $50 bomb. Where's my money, bitch? Salute to you, man. Let's see if I. I got the Do Better Weather Report for you. All right, everybody, I'm Ernest Washington with the Real Goddamn Weather Report. If you look in the sky over there towards Tickfall, you see it black as a motherfucker. I wouldn't go that way for a little while, but the shit coming this way. So if you stay out here and look at We, we got to get some better weather, man. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. Thanks I'm outsourcing, tip. people. I'm outsourcing. All right. We got to get better weather, man. Salute to you, RTB Fit, our show sponsor. What you got, bro? Sir, 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 respectfully and very truthfully, this going to be a no for me, dog. This way, bro. This one gets worse. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I know. Thanks for the tip. Salute to you, RTB Fit, our show sponsor. Bang! Bang! It's good. Appreciate you, RTB Fit. Day one sub, RTB. Let's see. 
All right, well, let's get back to it, man. <laughs> See, I got to do something that weatherman. He's not a good weatherman. Thanks for the tip. Who's your RTV fit? I'll update you in one second as our show sponsor. Let's see. Squeezy Kid says she shows us the White Castle. Yeah. <laughs> Order! 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 Oh, God, that is so funny, bro. She she orders she orders this, Bur Squeezy Kid. Burgers! Salute to you. <laughs> oh, man. Appreciate you, Squeezy Kid. Salute the lady of class. Uh, Lope. What you got, Lope? What it do, baby? Oh, I see his milk tray coming. It's, Access denied. There's some big old boobs. Lady of class, normally I would say this. Motorboat? You play the motorboat? <laughs> you motorboat and son of a bitch. You old sailor, you. Sometimes it's just not worth it. Access denied. No, thank you. She can keep her in that bathroom full of boobs. So let's see you, lady of class. Let's see. Who's the first man gaming? What you got, first man? She cannot be this big being angry. That shit's scary. Bro, it's getting worse, man. It gets worse, bro. See, you got to see the anger first, man, and it's coming, man. We better dodge. Better dodge it, though, man. We dodge that shit like the Matrix. Sean Jackson says, ain't no productive, stable black man need to be punished with your 40-year-old <laughs> big back, sassy baby mama. She need to get back with the father. Facts. Pull up a picture of Pizza the Hut. No, I'm not, bro. I'm not doing that juice. Appreciate you, Sean, for the $5 super chat. Recluse Gangster says she definitely don't need a man to eat. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Salute to you, bro. Mr. Guap in that super chat. That's a chick that catfish. No, 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 no. Access denied. No, 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 no. That is not. Access denied. What the hell? No, that is not. That is not. <laughs> not her. That's terrible. Salute to you, bro. Salute to Mark Cooper with the $5 Super Chat. He says, big 12-piece bucket of Popeye's chicken eating attitude have, have big you are lost cause. And the attitude gets worse. Y'all haven't even seen the attitude yet. Let's get to it, man. I got to update RTB Field. Thanks for all the Super Chats, by the way, guys. Please and thank you. Mr. Guam is nuts. I should block Please you for that thank shit. You. Thank you. Milwaukee. Okay, Mary Milwaukee. She's 40 years old. One child that's 16, her job is to take care of her child. She's a Gemini. She'll date 35 to 45. And you ready for something serious, I'm assuming? Yes. Please okay. don't have a lot of kids. Please. What's a lot of kids to you? Five and up. Okay, well, I, three and up could be a lot of kids, too. That's man. a lot of kids, too. They age difference be crazy, too. Please. And if you don't want no more kids, leave me be. Because I'm trying to be an adoptive parent. Leave me alone. Oh, you want more kids? Yes. Okay, how many kids you want uh, to adopt? Uh, three. Three or five. What? You want to adopt five kids in your house? Yes. Ooh, child. So you want a man to be okay with six kids? Well, six yes. people. You said yes. If he, he's willing to be okay with six. But... If we're in a relationship and he comes along and be like, well, let's talk about having you be an adopted parent, I will go along with him having, saying one is okay, two is okay. But, yeah. Well, let me ask this. So, since you want to adopt five kids, why would you not want to be with a man that has that many children? Because they have baby mama drama. I don't have no drama. My child father is not around. He can't tell me or my child what to do. Got it. I don't want no problems, Mary. All right, let's do it. And I'm glad people in the chat. It, I'm glad people in the chat. Y'all been calling it out. I was waiting to see it. I was waiting to see it. So so many of y'all are already calling out. She want to get paid. She already got one child. One child that's disabled first, man. She Her child is disabled to the point that she doesn't work. She sits at home and takes care of her child and gets paid by the state of Wisconsin to do so. She wants to adopt. You would think, why would she want to adopt more children? Because she want to get paid. Where's my money, bitch? She want to adopt three, four little uh, other bastards. And good, I mean, well, I was going to say good owners, three, four people out the, out the uh, foster system. But, but, but be that as it may, she's doing this shit for the check. Straight cash, homie. Straight cash, homie. Let's get back to it. How could a guy reach out to you? Facebook or um, Instagram. Facebook is Mary Aldridge. <laughs> Instagram is a purple rainbow. Instagram is a purple rainbow. It's written at the bottom. And Facebook is what again? Mary Aldridge, A L D R I D G E. And there you have it. <laughs> well, I don't know if it showed up. But right it, got, here? it got Tia Camp with her middle finger up. On which one? 
on Mary Aldridge. You 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 think that's gonna entice the type of man you're looking for? <laughs> Hopefully. Um, a profile picture with your middle finger up. I'm not Not mine. Rick Ross, baby mama. Don't want to be like that. That's even worse. She's cool. She's funny. She's down to earth. I'm oh, okay. She's 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 who you want to represent you as you want okay. men to to come. I think I I might, I might change. I'm gonna just change. I think I think if you want a different energy, that's that's giving downward energy. Okay. That's okay. giving. I'm gonna change it. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. I, I. I mean, listen. It's all about what you want to attract. So if you want to attract a different energy, I think. I think it would be best. Okay. okay. I'm gonna change it just because you. Okay. All right, honey. All right, Mary. You keep me posted how it goes. <laughs> well, do have a good one. Everybody be blessed, and I'm gonna read the comments on fa um, YouTube and Facebook too, because I know they saying something. Well, do you want to snap at somebody? I do have something. I wasn't going to read it, but since you Please. said you want, you want to do it? Here we go. It's time. <gasps> she is the solar eclipse today, bro. That's funny, man. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here we go. Well, I'm going to let you handle this one. She 40, E. Steven said, severely overweight and full of masculine energy. Very masculine. Not a good look. Very seriously overweight. And now, now that I'm seriously overweight and masculine, you're going to help me get on the trail wheel? You're going to help me lose this weight that I'm trying to lose? But you don't know nothing about me. Stop playing with me. Very masculine. Will hurt your feelings. Pull up your picture. Stop playing with me. Go play with your mama. Mine's is gone. Stop playing with me. Anything else? Very masculine. Take care of my daughter by myself. Got to be masculine. Do all of this. Ain't nobody helping Thanks me. Thanks for the tip. But my family and my, and you're not doing it, Mr. Steven, with your little $5. You could have added more. Now what? Oh, yeah, be quiet. Oh, add another, add another $5, Mr. Steven. You can, well, you can. Well, actually I'm, did. I'm, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm Eldra Allen just subscribed, salute. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> This shit is stupid. <laughs> Jay Gray, Jay Gray, you are stupid, bro. She looks like the nigga that handcuffed Merle with Glenn on the roof. And walking. You talking about T Dog? You talking about <laughs> this nigga? Did Jay Gray just say she looked like T Dog, bro? Is that? <laughs> oh my god, bro. Damn, I'm kind of scared. This is so sad. You can't hear. But here's the thing. She's got this work. I'm not getting her off the screen, uh, International Quiet Store. She got this worked up over a super chat. Over a super chat. And she, again, reminder, people, this is a daily show. Yep, I'm very masculine. I'm biggest goddamn the city of Cleveland, and I'm very masculine. Yep, you should want me. I'm very masculine. My mom died. That's what I'm telling you. I think it's some, I think it's some, some dry begging. I'm hoping Kendra G hit my cash app type shit. We'll see. Be last one. I'm not going to let y'all go back and forth, but he just said, you like work. It's a cold world. Very. Thanks for the now tip. What? Another $5, Steven. 20 Tell Kendra. What? I have a cash app, boo. Cash at me. A purple rainbow. Stop playing with me. Any yes, T-Dog. Yes, Very masculine. You got to be masculine when you're taking care of a child by yourself and nobody's trying to help, especially you niggas. Mm. Are you taking care of your child, Steven? Do you have any kids? Oh, okay. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with her. I think I, I think I got to learn today. They're going to learn today. Um, you know what, Mary? Uh, I know you was. I knew you, I wasn't gonna read them. To be honest with you, I'm glad you read them. But these people ain't coming up here showing their face. They're not showing their what they look like. You can't talk about somebody that's overweight that's trying to work on their weight. You don't know what I went through, how I got there. <laughs> I lost my mama a year ago, nigga. Stop playing with me. I'm working on myself. Work on yours. With your little five dollars. Next time, put twenty to ask a longer question. Don't play with me. Like I said, play with your mama. Masculine. Reminder, guys, this is a dating show. Bella Ring says... X is denied. Right, Bella? You see this, Bella? It's a very cold world. It's cold in Milwaukee, and it's raining. 
get in these streets, nigga. Now what? 414. Thanks for the tip. Information. Four, four is information. 411 is information, Kendra. Milwaukee. Oh, Milwaukee. 414. 414 is Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I Should thought that was the information. I thought that was the information number. No. 414 is Milwaukee. Oh, 414 is Milwaukee. Um, okay, okay. Um, Y'all talk all this stuff, but get up here, show your face, show how you the look, tip. make sure you don't have no flaws about yourself, and make sure you're going to a good place. I'm taking care of this by myself. Stop playing with me. You don't know nobody. You can't talk about nobody. Because you ain't showing your face. Thanks for the tip. Event. And I said your name. Masculine. And overweight. And trying to work on herself. Anything else? Anybody else got something negative to say? This is this is something. Thanks I'm not sure it's negative. But let's see. I'm, I do want to read this. And then I'm going to say something. Um, then I'm going to say something. Tehente said... No disrespect, hon, but you seem hurt. Behind that masculine energy is a woman that's been through some things. I can see straight through you. I'm glad you see through me. Imagine losing your mama who had nothing going on, nothing wrong with her, dropped dead on the ground. Nigga, stop playing. I will, I swear, I do not hurt nobody. I don't play with nobody. Leave me alone. If you see that I'm hurt, I'm glad that you see that. But other people do not know nothing about me. I've been through ups and downs, fighting niggas. I will fight niggas on these streets. Stop playing with me. What? I don't bother nobody. This is why I say to myself, anybody that know me, if they see me on your show, then they're going to be like, yeah, she crazy. Even my sisters, my brothers will let you know, I fight niggas, bitches, hoes, whoever. Stop playing with me. Very hurt. My mama passed last year. You think somebody going to get over that hurt? No. Don't play with me, Steven. Play with your mama. Like I said, yours is probably still around. Mine's not. Now what? I want to say something. Um, I always say that when I meet women like this, you had to become this woman. I feel like the world came to you so hard that you then had to become hard in order to survive. Nope. Nope. Access denied. Nope. You lose. Nope. Jail. This is haram. Nope. We not going for that shit. Salute to the, uh, that dude named Dave right here. You ain't the only one who lost a mama. Nope. We not going for that shit. Look, I'm going to say this perfectly clear, and I've said this numerous times. To death row. Don't nobody give a fuck about your problems. And I'm not trying to be mean in saying that. What I'm saying is nobody cares. We all got fucking problems. Ah! It's good. Salute to the dude, the this tip. dude named Dave. And Dave, I hope I'm not sharing too much of your information. We've talked about this before. Dave recently lost his brother and had to take in his nieces and nephews. He just lost his brother and had to take in his nieces and nephews. We all got fucking problems, man. Thanks that doesn't tip. give you the right to walk around here masking as fuck, talking about you fighting niggas in the street. Fuck that. Bang! Bang! It's good. We all have problems, man. We all have issues going on, but it's weak people who have victim mentalities who blame, they blame shit that happens, shit that happens to them for them developing into the person they are. We all have shit happen to them. I've told this story before. When I was 12 years old, for the my auntie, my aunt Harriet was, was deleted. She was robbed. She was walking down the street. She was 36 years old, robbed and deleted. My auntie was shot in the neck. Walk, ha happen to, excuse me, manage to walk and make it to her porch and collapse. Where my cousin, my cousin, who we, we were both 12 years old, watched his mother die. You don't think that affected my cousin? His dad wasn't there and he watched his mother bleed to death at 12 years old. You don't think he has issues too? Fuck that. Go get some fucking therapy, man. That's not an excuse to behave this way. And people like Kendra G just... Pour gas on that shit. Oh, yeah, that's the reason you are. No, you're like that because you're like that. Go get some fucking therapy. Again, we all got problems. We all got problems up here. That's no fucking excuse. We all go through shit. No. You had to become this way. Fellas, can you imagine saying some bullshit like that? Like, well, I went through so much uh, trauma. That's why I'm feminine as shit. People be looking at me like, it's you like. Hey, yo, what the fuck? 
So the fuck what? You still a man at the end of the day? You supposed to be masculine. Fuck that, man. What you got, Dave? After we buried my brother two weeks later, my younger brother had a heart attack. Well, I didn't even, I didn't even know about that. You don't see me going off on the deep end. Life is rough. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Kendra just enables this nonsense. She needs a CPAP. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> she needs a CPAP. <laughs> no. Condolence and scoop. No, man. No, I appreciate it, bro. But like I said, I told, I told that story before. I was 12 then. But don't feel bad about me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? My, that affected my cousins, who was that was their actual mom opposed to my auntie. So not making it about me, but it's just, when I heard her talking about this shit, I was like, you don't think my cousin ended up fucked up after watching his mom pass away? It still ain't no excuse for any action that he take and his ass sitting in jail right now. But he can't be in jail talking about, about what, happened to my, what happened to my mom. Don't nobody give a fuck. We all have problems. Oh, you said your uncle. Okay, I got you, Dave. We all have problems, man. Let me grab these super chats real quick. I just hate that excuse, man. I just hate that excuse because my mom died, my cat got sick, I ain't shit. No, fuck that, man. You ain't shit because you ain't shit. Stop blaming. Go get some fucking therapy, man. Let's see. Uh, Dianzis the Great says, this is sickness to the highest order. Facts. Let me grab these super chats real quick. Mark Cooper says, Black women have learned how to game the system in all areas from child support and alimony, selling drugs and food stamps and child care checks. Exactly, bro. And she's talking about adopting. She can probably make, barely take care of herself and the one child she has. That's, that's some type of um, some 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 fashion in which she takes care of her. And then now you want to, uh, excuse me, adopt more children so you can get more checks. Stop the cat, man. You do realize that we can see you lying, right? Everyone has a story, says Lady Class. Facts. We all got stories, man. I just don't, I don't like that bullshit, man. Shout out to her sturdy toilet seat. Oh, her up. Salute to you, bro. Salute to you, bro. <laughs> so, let's see, bro. From downtown says, I got the Galaxy Fold 5, and no matter which way I turn, she's so big, her head's gonna... Y'all are nuts, bro. Y'all are nuts, man. <laughs> she needs a dietitian before she needs a therapist. That's a great point, Project Leroy. That's fair. A masculine Buffalo soldier. Y'all just going in on the super chat. Salute to you, Mel Brown. Let's see. Uh, Diane's just the great back in the super chat. She got a drawer full of AA batteries. Cause, oh yeah, you already know, bro. You already know, man. She got to keep that buzz, that rose toy rosin. I bet she wears dirty sandals. Oh, <laughs> she got <laughs> Y'all are nuts, bro. Y'all are nuts, man. It's gonna be fat jokes for the rest of these super chats. She got crazy. De DeAndre Hall says she got crazy eyes like Warren Sapp. <laughs> Salute to you, man. Jay Gray says she looks like T Dog, and I can't unsee it now. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a good one. Dave Dave says I might need to cook on this one later. It's, it's a good one, bro. Kaby LeFair back in that super chat. Fuck digging the hole. She eating herself in the one. Lost her mama and still angry exactly kb exactly and i get it man i'm man i i said this kb i'm 40 i'll be 41 this summer i realized it took me to making this content to realize i'm blessed i still have both my parents man and both my parents are in their 60s kicking strong and shit you know what i'm saying my pops is on the roof the other day you know what i'm saying my parents both my parents are 64 years old i get it i'm blessed so i, I i'll admit i haven't had that pain of losing a, a, a parent, yeah, I will one day, hopefully not anytime soon, and I get it. I don't want to act as if I'm unsympathetic or I can't empathize with these people. But it's just, we all got shit going on, man. And you can't move forward if you're blaming everything. You can't move forward if you're blaming your past for transgressions that's happened and you can't maneuver. You're just sitting around like, okay, I'm just angry about the shit. Do something about it, man. Salute to you, KB. And I don't think she should be adopting no more children. Salute to from downtown 296. He can see through her because he damn sure can't see around. Y'all got their fat Thanks jokes, the man. <laughs> Salute to you from downtown. Juice worth the squeeze says, bro, she looks like buff love from the fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, man. Salute to Arlistic. Can't fight that singleness, huh? <laughs> Salute to you, bro. Let's see. Squeezy here back in that $5 super chat. Sitting on the toilet yelling at Kendrick G commenters. And ma'am, your mom dying doesn't make you special. Milwaukee, hold this L. Yeah, that's right. Milwaukee, this is for you. But we rarely have, for some reason, we rarely have people in the chat from Milwaukee. Uh, I don't think... I don't think they got the internet there. <laughs> Milwaukee, this is for you. Anybody in Milwaukee, hold your hand up. 
<laughs> Let's see. Salute to Gina for Martin. What you got, Gina? What it do, baby? I call. I, it's called life, and everyone goes through it. Some worse than others. It's completely selfish of her to go into a relationship bitter and not heal. Exactly, Gina. Exactly. And look how angry she is. Masking. Some of you fight ninjas in the street. Bro, hey, yo, what the fuck? If a woman tells me she fight ninjas in the street, you know what I'm going to do? Run. Go the other goddamn way because you're not going to fight me, bitch. Salute to you, Gina. Thank you very much for the $10 super chat. Let's see. I think I'm all caught up. So, no, I got one more. Salute to the International Choir Storm. That shower curtain behind her is actually a summer dress. She's still working on how to keep it secure. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The internet is still on dial up in Milwaukee. Facts, facts, facts. Dave, I don't think they got Milwaukee. I don't think they got internet in Wisconsin. Not yet. Wisconsin and Utah are the only, country, only states who don't have internet yet. That's a fact. Did y'all see that drizzle, drizzle thing dudes was doing? On TikTok, and the women was infuriated by a simple, simple satire. It's hilarious. Let's get back to it. And I think that's what that last caller was trying to say is that I can, I, I know that this is a defense mechanism, yeah. right? And, and Excuse. You are, you're defending yourself um, through certain comments. Um, I'm a person <laughs> who's a mind, dress. So I know that life changing experience, especially if you were close to your mother. Um, you know, it, it literally was that I talk about all the time. Like, I mean, I, I was done. I didn't think I was going to survive it. I was suicidal for a month. It was very devastating for me. Thanks for so the tip. I feel like you are attacking back because yeah. that's what you're. I attack you before you attack me. I talk about my weight before you talk about my weight. I talk about my looks before you talk about me. I talk about everything about myself before a man comes at me. I'm big. I know it. I'm masculine. I'm working on me. Please respect me that I'm working on me. I respect you. You res you respect me. I respect you. I don't come for nobody. I swear I don't. I'm working on me. I've been through a lot. Baby daddy ain't taking care of nobody. He got three <laughs> kids out here and a grandfather. Stop playing with me. I do this by myself. My daddy don't have to help me. My brothers don't have to help me. I do this by myself. It's your fucking... Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bella. Excuse my language. It's your children. It's your child. Nobody get passed on the back for raising the baby that you brought in this world. My daughter. Victim, victim mentality, man. I feel like I feel like life hasn't probably showed you enough compassion. Drizzle, drizzle. It hasn't. It hasn't. So let me do this. I want to change that narrative. What's your cash app? Uh, matter of fact, I think it's a purple rainbow. Great cash, homie. Is it really a purple rainbow? Hold on, let me go look. I'm telling y'all, man, this is a cash, cash at bay. Go Cree Cree. We got cash at bay. Great cash, homie. Where's my money, bitch? I think it's a purple rainbow. You can look under my name, Mary. You need to know because I'm not going to send money to the wrong person. Check me out. Tip. Let me go around my house. I don't even want to <laughs> go around my house because they might say it's dirty. Facts, bro. This, this got in cave she in. Let me keep it close. Thanks for the me. tip. Because they might talk about my poor little house. Shamel. Yeah, that's what I thought. Y'all do. Yeah, yeah, I meant to say that too. She eight miled herself. She eight miled herself. So I'm going to talk all this shit about me. <laughs> so you can't say nothing. Thanks for the tip. Look under your cash app. <laughs> Where's your phone? Now she don't know her cash app? Scam likely, says Stop Pro. What's my cash app? I'm sorry it's taking so long. I'll be forgetting it. Is it a purple rainbow 414? A purple rainbow 414. Wait, hold on. Let me see. A per it's the A purple rainbow? 414. Tell you. So the word A and then purple rainbow? Yes. Cash at Bay. Purple. Rainbow. <laughs> oh, Bobby, stupid. What's your last name? Aldrich, A L D. Okay. R I D G E. Listen, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to do this because I want you to experience compassion. Oh. I want you to, I want you to know, I understand why you're such a tough girl. Got it. Why we can't see you. Oh, I will be. Right, I, I will be. I, I will be honest with you. I'm not sure if that 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 toughness is going to work in your dating situation because most men don't want to fight all day long. 
No. But I understand that you were just fighting back. I'm, I'm trying to go to counseling. Um, I'm working on me. So when people try to attack me and don't know nothing about me, I come. I become very aggressive with them. I'm working on me, and I want people to understand by me working on me. Please respect that. Don't come at me talking crazy because I'm coming back. I'm from four one four. Well, it says your account is a girl. It says your account is unable to accept payment. Hello, oh, damn. I didn't watch this much of it. She is giving. She is giving me Oliver Miller vibes. I'm sorry. Shamir, I don't understand. Why. She, yes, she did wake her kid. Somebody asked if she wake her kid up. Yes. Okay, I gotta keep it going. I'll try it again. But I literally, this has never happened before. But I literally got the message that said your account is unable to accept payments. I'm gonna send it to you on Instagram. My um, face. My um, um. See, I'm nervous. I done got nervous. But you done got me. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Uh, my cash up. Okay. All right, honey. Well, listen, um, I wish you the best, okay? <laughs> Dawn nah, Allen says she came out the dark like a gorilla in the mist. <laughs> Y'all are nuts, bro. Y'all are nuts. Um, I want to say this. Oh, God. I, I, I haven't watched this part. Let's see what Kendra G's talking about right now. Oh, my God. That's funny, Don Allen. That's funny, bro. <laughs> Let me get back to it. Let's see what you got to say. I'm going to grab those Super Jets. I when I want to give someone money. It's my money. <laughs> Just like you could do whatever you want to do with your money. You could buy wigs. You could buy shoes. You could go on vacation. You could buy clothes. When I want to do something with my money that I have worked hard for, I can't do so. And the reason I want to send her a cash app is because I feel like people like that never experienced someone just giving them something, right? Oh, yeah, facts. They don't say, I want to be fair. They don't say, Kendra has a big heart. She doesn't do it for Cloud. I don't believe she does it for Cloud either. I believe she does have a big heart. There have been stories since when she was doing the radio of her help me. She's a bird, but a good one. Oh, yeah, I agree, bro. I agree. Two things can be true at the same time. She's definitely a bird, but I do believe she is generous. I don't think she does it for Cloud either. I think she's silly for doing the shit. But yeah, two things can be true at the same time. You're right. I, I, let me tell you, I give, I have been blessed my whole life. Like I had a, uh, I have really good parents and my dad was just, you know, I, I, I never had to call anybody other than my father if I needed something. And that's a blessing in itself. So to know that you always had someone, I was free to dream, you know, cause I knew if I fell, somebody would pay my rent. Like that's just real talk. Everybody doesn't have that. Hell so, no, they don't. I like to let people feel that. To, I want people that have never experienced that feeling of someone looking out for you. Woke Quill says it in the chat. A combo that can ruin you. Facts, Woke Quill. If I can help someone experience that, I will. And that's why she is the woman she is. Now, y'all calling her angry. I wasn't even going to read the comments because some of the comments I knew, they were just me. But as she was leaving, she was like, I'm about to go read the comments section. So I was like, okay, well. Oh, and she was in the comment section fighting for fighting too in the comment section after that. I saw, I saw her. You can see her. If you go to this video, you'll see her in the comments fighting. I'll read some of the comments since you're about to go read the comment section. So you can't really get mad at her for defending herself because that's what she was doing. She was defending herself and she was defending herself hard. So what do you expect? Did you want her, did you want to say something negative and for her to cry? Because then you would have felt sad for her, right? If I would have read the comment about her overweight and Thanks then she started tech. crying. I mean, she's big as all hell, so people want to say something about the weight. But the bigger thing is just her attitude. Let me read the Super Chats real quick. What you got, Project Lear, is one thing to give and it's another to give to it enable someone's dysfunctional bad habits. I agree. That's why I said. That's why I said she had done me for this shit. You know, I, we're in agreement. That's why I said, like, yeah, she does seem like a good... She does seem like she has a big heart. She doesn't seem like she does it for clout. But those things... Um, can still be a detriment. I agree. She is in her own eclipse to her shower curtain, says Project Leroy. Uh, Chief Akachi with the $5 super chat. What you got, Chief? Some same broad talking gangster be calling police when a dude give her that real way. Exactly, bro. Man, whenever I hear these women talking about they fighting dudes. Access denied. I mean, come on. I don't give I don't give a damn how big a woman is. You can't whoop no man. 
You can't whoop no man. To me, it's hilarious. It's super aggressive. But I'm like, I ain't taking that shit seriously, bro. All wolf, man. Chief, let you hit her. Let, let you hit her with a, a medium sized jab, and it's over for this bitch. Salute to you, bro, for the five dollars. Appreciate you, babe. Jay Stuker says, no excuses. I lost my granddad back in 2019. You didn't see me acting like this emotional. We all have problems. Get in fucking line, ho. Fine. Goddamn right. That's what I be saying, bro. I'm, I'm, that's one thing you're gonna hear me say, man, constantly. Don't nobody care about your problems. Not just because I don't give a shit. But that's just life, man. Life be life and bro. Everyone has everyone has bad days. We all have our issues, man. Stop blaming that shit, bro. No excuses. Facts, Jay Sucre. Let's see. Salute to young Jay. What you got? There may be someone, there may be some evidence that's coming out with Miss China. Bucci, <laughs> Bucci, the kid just subscribed. Salute. I thought it said Gucci the kid. Let's see. What you got, bro? There may be some evidence that's coming out. Miss China is a known con artist. She has a criminal record in China and on a run, allegedly. Yeah, well. Run! Bro, I would not be surprised, man. Like I said, man, I don't have anything invested in that conversation whatsoever. My beef, again, for the 10th time is with them two just talking down on black people, doing Hill Hitler and all that kind of shit. That's what I'll say. When she was talking, I'm like, she seems like she's full of shit anyway, bro. Let's, so I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. Salute to you, young Jay. And I wouldn't be surprised if this story blows away in a week or two. They find out she's not pregnant and everybody keeps it moving, man. It's just content, uh, people. Mark Cooper says... Bitch, get, <laughs> get another 12-piece bucket with mashed potatoes and gravies with biscuits now. <laughs> Salute to you, Coop. Let's see. Salute to Unbelievable Court TV. What you got, bro? We have an eclipse here in California today. Been walking, <laughs> walking around. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> oh, my. That's good, bro. That's good, man. Unbelievable Court TV. I appreciate you for the $10 super chat. Where's my money, bitch? Salute to you, bro. That's funny. That's funny. Salute to the International Choir Store. What you got, bro? Coop, she's not working on shit. She's broken, dry, begging on cash. Oh, yeah, exactly. There is no therapy being done. She's working on herself through social media. Goddamn right. That is a good point, man. She's talking about she's working on myself. And we should see this with Kevin Samuels all the time. Women say they're working on themselves. They're working on themselves. And I'll never forget the Godfather would always ask them, What's the who's the name of your therapist? And they would say, uh, KS would think. Shut up, bitch. He wouldn't. He, I would say it. He would think it. I would say it. You're right, bro. She ain't working on anything, man. Cash at dry begging. And then, like I said, Kendra G blessed her, man. And again, two things can be true at the same time. Kendra G can have a big heart and also detriment because you're enabling these people sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Appreciate you, Quiet Store. Salute to Recluse Gangster. Hide the money, y'all. Hide, Hide the, the money. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around <laughs> with your broke ass. <laughs> Appreciate you for the 10 Dollar super chat, man. Let's see. And Kendra G, real quick. Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says wrap it up. Wrap that shit up, B. I don't think that's a good idea. Man, you want some too? You better wrap it up. You better wrap that gavel up, B. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> uh uh Pasta Tech says plaque yet, yeah, homie. I'm still waiting on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, run me my plaque. Hey! I got verified. I was like, Trip, we get the plaque one day. They so they said it's gonna be a while. So look to recluse gangster for the fifty dollars super chat. What you got, bro? Coop, I'm gonna take over on this one. Speaking for all men, deaf, dumb, and blind, we do not intend to respect your requests. We do not appreciate your stance, and we shall not abide by your terms. Facts. Goddamn right. Salute to you, recluse gangster. I'm gonna update you as well as the homie AD Blackman. And I believe it's AD Black. No, I believe it's RTB Fit. I'm, I'm sorry. As our show sponsor. <laughs> That's a fact. Great cash, homie. She hangry says. <laughs> she hangry says. Um, go Cree Cree. Did I say ten dollars, Quarterstorm? I meant fifty dollars. No, that's a fifty piece, man. So listen, to homie, recluse gangster, one of our show sponsors. I'll get you updated in one second. So listen from the homie from downtown two ninety six. He says my wife thinks the same way because she has a great career. She thinks she can help everybody. I tell her you can give your family members money as long as you don't ask me to give them none. There you go, bro. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Nope, nope, nope. I ain't, no, I ain't with it, bro. I ain't. I already said I won't give people money. I'm just, I'm just not the dude you can come to with every five minutes. But man, get the fuck out of here, man. I probably toss you a couple dollars. But yeah, I'm not that dude either. I'm not that guy. Salute to you from downtown 296. Appreciate you, bro. Let's see. Let's get uh, Kendra G. Then all of y'all would have said, "Oh my God, that was so mean." What did you? You gotta pick and choose. No, she's become tough because she has to be. So people like that, are, those are people you have to love on the most. Those people that you have to, only way to show them something different is to be different to them. All right? 
I can't. Uh, Shut up, bitch. All right, let me update uh, Recluse, Recluse Gangster as our show sponsor. Uh, let's see, we got, um, you know what we got? We're going to end this off. We're going to end this off with some dash cam. <laughs> Coop ain't got no job, so don't come to him begging for money. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact, man. Let's see. What you got? Coop is generous as fuck. He blessed a lot of concert. Oh, that I do. I do. I'm not trying to, not trying to pat myself on the back, but uh, not, not in real life. But I do definitely chip in on the other content creators. People in real life, access denied. You asking me for no money. So let's see, bro. Let me grab the super chat. And we got. Don't go nowhere. We got an entitled CEO that thinks he's above the law. Extended mind healer with a five dollar super chat. I got five. Salute, I know everyone agrees differently. Uh, salute, I know everyone agrees different, etc. But don't use your loss as a crush. That's annoying because it becomes an excuse eventually. Exact elevated mind healer. Exactly. You can't really tell people how to grieve. I don't want to be like, I don't want to say, hey, chick, get over it. You know, because that, and that's why I purposely stated that I have not, I still have both my parents. So, and I'm blessed, and I realize that I'm blessed in that fashion that everyone doesn't have it. That's one of the quick lessons I learned when I started this channel. So, Again, you are 100 percent right. People who grieve in different ways, but but it becomes an excuse after a while. Because again, we all have problems. You complain it to she's complaining about losing her mother when plenty of people in the chat can say, "Hey man, I lost my mom. I'm still not like that." Appreciate you, elevated mind healer, for the five dollar super chat. Straight cash, homie. Straight cash, homie. All right, let's see. Let's get it. Entitled CEO thinks he's above the law. I watched like the first few minutes of this. Not all of it. And the first few minutes was pretty good. On September 14th, 2023, a deputy conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle committing multiple traffic infractions. Hello, Deputy Hines with the Sheriff's Office. Can I get your license, registration, and insurance, right. please? Put the drink down. I need your license. Put the Put the Bobby, Alex, Ma'am, excuse you. I need Alex, remind me at the end. I got you. your license, you your registration, license and insurance. But don't be a bully. You're a bully. And I don't like woman bullies. Period. Where are you headed today, sir? I am going to my doctor client. Ma'am! And guess what? You're messing with the wrong person. Okay. Sounds good. I need your registration and your insurance, please, sir. My insurance is on my phone. Thanks for the tip. Okay. I'll I need your registration. I'll take my sweet time. It's fine. You bully me, you're done. So you don't know why you, you don't know why I stopped you? What? You don't know why? Yeah. I'm asking you. I have no idea why Okay. Because you're passing in a no passing, sir. No, Twice I, I you did. Middle lane. No. J uh, Jacoby Atmore just subscribed, so Luke. Appreciate you, Jacoby. Sir. It, no, sir, it's not. It's a breakdown it's lane, Beach. yellow. In Del Delaware Beach? You're no. Pass. Not in Florida. Delaware Beach? Is in Florida, sir. Yeah. You are not allowed to pass. I on do. a double solid yellow line or I double apologize. solid breakdown line, okay. sir. I you did it twice. I, I gave you the pass on the first one, and then you I did it again. I have no points. I, right. Doesn't matter, sir. I need your registration, you please, sir. I need your registration, <laughs> please, sir. Okay. All right. How are you going to be a dick to her and ask her to get a warning? I need your registration, yeah. please, sir. Ms. Hines. Please registration, behave. sir. Do not I am me. behaving, sir. Do not sir. believe me. Do not do raise not your voice me. at me, sir. Do not believe I've me. I've asked you You're bullying uh, several You're times bullying me. for your registration, the... sir, and your insurance. Okay. You're bullying me. Okay. I don't like you. I really <laughs> don't like you. Because you're you're not a good officer. Okay. I'll, I'll speak to your <laughs> superior. That's fine. <laughs> Forgot about that. So when the little yellow sticker comes on, man, sir. Man, just don't tell me what to do. <laughs> He's trying big to man. help you find no, paperwork, I, sir. I have everything here. I'm a CEO. I'm retired. I work part time. I'm, it's hot. It's frustrating when people do 30 or 20 miles an hour. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> he said, I can already tell he's short. I was thinking it, bro. I swear to God, Erroneous E, I was thinking it and you said it. Like, this little bitty motherfucker. <laughs> when they are going on a 40 mile an hour speed limit, doing 20 miles an hour. You can't. Here you go, man. 
Okay, so you're insurance. handing me your That's cell my phone. Insurance. Okay. And now you want my registration. Yes, sir. Here you go. He's so goddamn. Hey. And Bella, the way he kept saying he don't like, I don't think he's the biggest fan of women either. Put your cell phone back, sir. I don't want to hold on to it. Don't just drop it. Hand it to me. You were looking you just, for paperwork. I did that? No, I saw sir, you. I did not. It's on camera. I did not, sir. I placed it down on well, your why hat. Why don't you just give it to me? Like a, a you're woman for should, information. Like a woman so, to give the phone to Can I get your a registration, man. please, sir? You know what? You're dealing with the wrong man. Okay, I'm sir. a CEO. Okay. I'm intelligent. I have the best attorneys in the world. Okay. All right, and sir. you're messing with the okay, wrong sir. human being. Okay. Give me a fucking ticket. That's what you want to do. He <laughs> big man. My registration is somewhere here, but I can't find it. You can tell if my car's registered. Go home. Go. So you don't Go have your registration car. with you? I have my registration <laughs> with me. Please have it, sir. You're supposed to provide it. He angry, bro. You're a fucking bitch. That's what you are. There it is. That's the old one. That's the old one. Do you have a I current one, sir? You can tell if I'm registered. You know what? Do you Go. have Do you have the current one, I sir? I can't find it. Okay, so, you, so you're I telling me you don't it. have your current one. I you're can't not gonna find look for it. The, okay. One more time. I can't find it. Okay. So is everything good with your license, sir? It's not suspended I for any reason? I have zero points, bitch. So your license is not <laughs> I suspended? I have zero points. Okay. Stay in the car. I'll be right back with you, sir. Right, Bella Rings. Make sure y'all subscribe to Bella Rings. Make sure y'all subscribe to Go Cree Cree. Drop y'all links. Bella, Go Cree Cree. Uh, male reality lessons. If y'all drop, con if y'all got content, go ahead and drop your links. This is an actual uh, <laughs> misogynist. Thank you. In the first few minutes, Dave says, I don't even know if we get action, Dave. I just watched the first five minutes of this, and this dude lost it. After a short while, the man sped off from the traffic stop and was found at a convenience store. So he left the traffic stop, y'all. This is Katie Walker. She was a dude. This is Myron's dad. With how mad he is, bro. He's, he's infuriated, bro. And I think this dude got a problem with women. He's mad because a female pulled him over, bro. Oh, right? And then he left the scene, PL. That's a good point, Kay. The reason why I moved. Nope. I just moved nope. because I'm sick, though. I'm, I want to go to the hospital. Don't resist I want to go to the hospital. Put your hand behind your back right go. now. Get out Oh, we got action. We got Woo. action. Woo. Let's go. Big Oldie. Yeah, bro. He took off. He took off when she was getting his all information. When she went back to the squad car, he left the goddamn scene, bro. He just left. <laughs> Talk about privilege. He just dipped. And then she just rolled up to him at the goddamn 7-Eleven. He got slurpy and shit. And now she's like, get your ass on the ground. Do better, PD. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it, man. I want to go to the hospital. Ma'am, I want to. Thanks for the tip. Ma'am, I want to. I'm sick. No. Ma'am, I'm sick. I'm Grab sick. Me one more time. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. Ma'am, ma'am, Put I'm your sick. hand behind your I'll back. I'll put it behind my now. back. I'm <laughs> sick. <laughs> We got action, boss. We oh got action. Oh, my God, you're going to be in trouble. I'm going to sue Alpha you for 10. everything you got. I will sue Alpha you 10. for everything you got. Show me 1015. All I did is pull over here so I can get some medicine. I need medicine, ma'am. Oh, man, you're in 10, trouble. 1015. You're in trouble. You better PD. I need medicine. Take me to the hospital. Take me to the hospital. <laughs> you're in Stop. Stop. <laughs> There's something wrong with her. She's brutal. One v one. They should throw hands. They should throw hands. <laughs> Her versus him. <laughs> Just have them do throw hands in the middle of the goddamn gas station parking lot. Let's go. They kill people this way. Damn, I'm a CEO. Oh my God, she's checking my pockets. You take any money out of my wallet, you got it. Call the head sheriff! Please! Call I'm the sick. head sheriff! I'm sick. Call the head sheriff! Please! Call the head sheriff! I'm sick! <laughs> Once you find out how sick I am, 
Yeah, man. Stop moving! You're gonna end up on the ground. Do you understand me? <laughs> Hold on. I want another sheriff here. Have All a seat. I want is another sheriff. Have a seat. I'm hurting. Have a Man. seat. You're telling me. Sit down. I'm sitting. Put your feet in now. I can't. Put your feet in. Ma'am. This dude is nuts, yo. Now. I want to see another sheriff. That's all I want to see. I just put want to see another sheriff. Your I have my right. Feet in. I will put it in, but I want to see another now. sheriff. Now. Can't you answer me? Now. Can you answer me? Can I have another sheriff? Is this another resisting charge, no. sir? Then get your butt in the car now. You're hurting me. I'm not. I'm, I'm get in the car. I am so sick, you can't imagine. I'm going get to the hospital. in the car. I'm going to the hospital. Now. <laughs> Can I see another sheriff? Tesla. Oh, my God. Put your feet in. He can't break those cuffs. I have to go to the hospital. <laughs> I have to. I'm very ill. Man, you're gonna get Lawson. You're gonna get a Lawson. If y'all could do your boy Cooper a favor, we gotta go Cree Cree up. Cree Cree's trying to get, she's getting her channel off the ground. Help me get to 100 subs. It's pinned to the chat. Y'all go ahead and throw Cree Cree day one sub over here, a subscription. Let me know in the chat once you do. I will acknowledge you. Gotta suffer. Sub to Cree Cree right now. You have no fucking. You have Maybe no you should have thought about you that no before you drove away I from the traffic Lawson stop. Ten times. Oh, he drunk too. Lakeisha Thomas just Lakeisha Thomas four hundred two just subscribed. Salute. Yeah, y'all go ahead and subscribe to Cree Cree. You going to jail now? Facts, squeegee kid. Facts. I think I grabbed this out of order. Let me come back to you it. You were right out on Savannah, right? He kept uh, revving yeah. his engine, revving his engine. Yeah. He does not like females whatsoever. That's why I started. That's why I came back. Yeah. So I started. I started. I'm writing my tickets, right? I'm on the getting ready on the second one. He hauls butt right. into here. Parks right there. I haul butt into here. He goes to walk in. Juice? I said, uh uh, I knocked the drink out of his hand. And I went hands on with him, so I'm like, I'm done. He was resistant. Just stay in your car. I with had to get AC. medicine. The I had to get they don't have medicine at Cumberland. Of course they do. They have Valerian. Sit up. I want to go to the hospital. Sit up. Shut up. I want to go to the hospital. I want to go to the hospital. Look at you in the car. <laughs> He in there like a little sack of potatoes, bro. <laughs> Appreciate you, kid. Appreciate you, cool. I up, can't please. sit up. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. oh. oh thank enough. you, sir. Thank you. Step out. Can I go to the hospital? No, please? step out. Why? Well, I'm in pain, sir. Oh. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. All that shit talking going out. You don't the, understand. All that shit talking going out the window now that a man done showed oh. up. Woo. In the international choir storm. You filthy motherfucker. God damn it. I forgot about that. I take my I take my subscribe to Cree Cree back. I take that back. I should time you out, Cree Cree. You filthy motherfucker! I have nothing on me. I'm a CEO. I don't know why this whole thing happened. Check me out, Richard CEO Medical Technologies Group. Why are you doing this to me? This never happens in Palm Beach County. Never, never. I have no weapons. I have no nothing. I'm a I'm a sick man. I'm a sick man, sir. I want to go to the hospital. I want to go to the hospital. Appreciate you, BG. Can I speak to your chief? I want to go to the hospital. Ma'am, I want to go to the hospital. I'm sick. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. This is going to be a big lawsuit. This is going to be a huge lawsuit. Listen, we'll get you I got to go to the hospital. Okay, we'll get you I want to lock my car up and go to the hospital. Please, you're, sir. You're under arrest, so. Uh, but I did nothing wrong. I want to go to the hospital. I'm very sick. <laughs> <laughs> sir, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. 
Well, I have nothing. I'm the CEO. Oh, that's good. You know what? I think you're finished. Thank you. You too. Thank you. You two are finished. Thank you. You know why? Because I told her I was sick and she didn't listen, so I came in here to get medicine. There's medicine that helps me that they sell here. This ninja got what a slurpee. It called? It's it's called uh, right. ge generic Tylenol. Right. <laughs> it's Tylenol. A high, but very high dose Tylenol. Okay, have a seat. I'm calling strong. Right. I want to go to the hospital, sir. Have a seat. Oh, I want to put you in there. Okay. Thank you. Can I go to the hospital, please? Okay. Mr. Appler. We'll Mr. Appler, can we'll I get go you the attention to? Attention you need. Let's have a seat. You want to know something? Have a seat. In, in, this okay. would never, sir, it's this bad. would never happen in Palm Beach County, ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> bro, bro. Shut up, bitch. That's one. And let's do, let's go ahead and put it out there, bro. Let me grab these super chats real quick. Let's see. I got this from Downtown 296. Got this one from Elevated Mind Healer. Thank you very much, EMH. Let's see. A real Leo channel member for five months. Theo, shout out to you and everyone. Five months, my dog. <laughs> We moving the real Leo. We moving, man. Oh my! <laughs> so you two give me my plaque one of these damn days. Let's see from downtown 296 in this two dollar super chat. He looks like Doc from Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, y'all be making the most. Y'all be making the most outlandish and random comments, bro. Tylenol makes makes Slurpees. I, I, I was saying, I said he went to the gas station to get a Slurpee. He said he went there to get some. Extra, get some medicine, which he said was Tylenol. Like, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Let's see. Salute to you, man. That's so stupid. Salute to Squeezy Kid. Says she going to jail now. That's a fact. I believe that is, in fact, a fact, Squeezy Kid. Day one sub. You going to jail? Yeah. Okay, you going to jail? Yeah. You going to Salute to you, squeezy kid. Oh man. Oh damn, I turned the video off. My bad. Let's get back to it. I hit the wrong one. It's in in Cree Cree. You are over 100 subscribers On right September now. September 14th. 20th. Just to let you know, let me find my spot. You are over 100 subscribers right now. If you wasn't married, I tell you to eat my gooch. But you married. So let's see. Where were we at with him? Where were we at with little man? I think this is it right here. You got over 100 subscribers, Cree Cree. Ma'am, I want to go to the hospital. I'm sick. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. There's gonna be a big lawsuit. There's gonna be a huge lawsuit. Listen, we'll get you I gotta go to the hospital. Okay, we'll get you I wanna lock my car up and go to the hospital. No, Please, you're, sir. You're under arrest. Sir. But I did nothing wrong. I wanna go to the hospital. I'm very sick. Spread your legs. Oh. Sir, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. Well, I, gotta pat you down, make sure you I have nothing. I'm the CEO. Oh, that's good. You know what? I think you're finished. Thank you. You too. Thank you. You two are finished. Thank you. You know why? Because I told her I was sick and she didn't listen. So I came in here to get medicine. There's medicine that helps me that they sell here. What is it called? It's it's called uh, ge right. generic Tylenol. Right. Generic Tylenol. It's like there we high, go. High, very high dose Tylenol. <laughs> okay, I can't, sir. <laughs> All right. I want to go seat. to the hospital, sir. Have a seat or I'm going to put you in there. Okay. Thank you. Can I go to the hospital, please? Okay. If Mr. You need Appler. We'll get Mr. You Appler, can we'll I go to... the attention you need. Let's have a seat. You want to know something? Have a seat. In, in, this okay. would never... Sir! Right. This yeah. would never happen in Palm Beach County, ever. <laughs> ever. Well, I want to see chief of police. Get your little ass in the car. The man continued to be belligerent towards the female deputy all the way to the station. What hospital are we going to? Ma'am, what hospital <laughs> are we going to? I'm the recording baby. this whole thing. What hospital are we going to, ma'am? What hospital <laughs> are we going to, ma'am? I'm sick. What hospital are we going to, ma'am? You are an asshole. <laughs> you know answer? You're a bitch. And you're a dyke. He called her a dyke. Oh, scissor me timbers. But you manhandled me? I know who you are. You're a female bitch. And if I don't get to the hospital, you're going to be sued forever. For millions. And your department will be taken down. Where's my sneaker? It's in your car, sir. Boy, are you going to be sued? You can't imagine. Your name is going to be Mush when I'm done. I asked you to take me to the hospital 10, 15 times. It's all recorded. 
and you ain't going to get the recording. What is your name, man? What is your name, man? Well, you've already seen it because you've already called me by my last name. name. It's Hines, What's sir. What's your name, ma'am? If you stop talking, your name? <laughs> well, when you stop talking, okay. okay, you saw it on my shirt because you've already said it. And it's Heinz, sir. Right. <laughs> right. This dude is nuts. Nice if you're the Heinz family, you have a good one. It is spelled differently than the ketchup, sir. <laughs> Thanos called him Incel Danny DeVito. Red pill raising the back. It's hilarious. It is spelled like the cake you mix. You are a masochist. Okay. You know someone's sick, you don't treat them this way. And you're going to apologize to me, and I'm going to bring you to court. I promise you, I will bring you to court. Oh, Check me man. out, Rick CEO Medical Technologies Group. Check me out, Richard Medical Technologies Group. I have the money to sue you and sue the whole damn department of Martin County. And I'm going to if I don't get to the hospital, it's going to be 10 times Ah! <laughs> Drive carefully, bitch! <laughs> you got these cuffs on so tight. I'm not a criminal. If you weren't resisting, sir, no, 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 man. they no, wouldn't man. have had to been man, on the way man. they are on. I calmed down. Oh, no, man. sir, you did not. He said, drive carefully, bitch. You were you're gonna go, you're gonna, constantly you're gonna lose your job. resisting severe, me, sir. I have a very severe illness. Oh, my God, bro. To me. What is wrong with you? Well, I've heard everything that you've said, sir. Okay. You want, you me want too, bro. They're going to check my records right now, and I'm going to have you fired. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm going to have you fired. This is not a hospital. I want to speak to Sheriff. He keeps talking to CEO shit. We're gonna have a nurse come out. Okay. Stay in the car. Nurse okay. come please, out. Please. Check you out. Please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very sick, ma'am. I'm going to heat stroke. <laughs> I'm going to heat stroke. The air was on. The air was not on. And the partition's open. The air was not on me. Please, please. That's why I opened please. the door so you can get Thank her you. in there, Thank okay? you. You're the only sweet one here. Frank. The other guy manhandled me and she manhandled me. I did not resist. I went to get my medicine. It's a special Tylenol for... Stop me and, and handcuff me. Well, correct. She was You're going to jail, man. <laughs> you going to jail, man. She said, you're going to jail. Okay. I'm not going to jail. I'm going to the hospital. Well, you're at the jail right now. So I'm going to the hospital. We'll take you to the hospital after. Wait till you see what's wrong with me. I'm very, very ill. I almost died a month ago. There was no reason for what happened. I pulled over to the 7-Eleven to get the extra strength Tylenol because I'm but, not well. Sir, let me explain to you something. When we do a traffic stop on you, you can't drive away. And I, and I was joking. I didn't know he really went to 7-Eleven. I was just joking. Yeah, I just pulled over to the right. But you can't do that. Because we don't know what's okay. inside that car. I, I apologize, but you understand you. when you're in my condition, you have to. That's something that you should do. <laughs> no, she, she knew I was sick. She ignored me 10, 15 times. Lower your voice. 10, 15 so times. 10, 15 times she ignored me. She doesn't realize. When you find out when I get to the hospital how sick I am. You know what? I'm going to sue you, please. Here, I'll show you. I'm going to sue you. Well, first of all, stop. Okay? You didn't even give me a chance to say good afternoon or anything like good that before you start talking to me like good that. Afternoon, sir. So calm down. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, we got steps that we got to follow, and then we'll talk about the other stuff. I did Come out of the car. I just passed. I got it. I'm just. You notice he don't. He don't have. He do not have the same energy for the dudes, man. Sure he does not have the same energy. Okay. Come out of the car. Slide forward. Like your friend Schneider. Slide forward. Slide forward. I have no strength. Stand up. I can't. Stand up. I can't stand up. It was enough, all right, to drink. I didn't drink, sir. No. I did not drink. No. I'm on. I'm on. Where's the nurse? 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 Where's the
Drive carefully, bitch. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm Can sick. I have some water, please? Sir, there is no water in Rebecca, where is his shoes at? Hey, yo, what the fuck? I bet he wears small shoes. <laughs> so I cannot provide you water right now. It's my old jar again. It, 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 it dehydrates my body, and that's the sicker I'm going to get. Sir, once you're placed in a holding cell, I believe there's water. I want to go to a hospital. Okay. Holding cell. Oh, my God. This is the worst nightmare of my life. <laughs> okay, sir, just to let you know, the follow-up is being video recorded, okay? Yeah, you missed all the reasons. Okay, listen to me. You will prove that I'm a very sick human okay, being. Okay, listen to me. For record, case number is 2022. I'm sorry. Just write it down for me. I can't remember. Write it down for me. My name's Deputy Levener with the Murray County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit, and present with me is Deputy Hines. Deputy Hines, have you arrested <laughs> Richard for resistant arrest? Yes, ma'am. Because I pulled into a 7-Eleven to get my medicine. Okay, sir, I'll give you an opportunity to talk. Okay. 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 So the reason I am here is to conduct a DUI investigation, okay? Fine. Go ahead. I didn't drink. Okay, I, listen. I, agree, I drank green tea okay. for three hours today. I was going into heat exhaustion. Okay. Because you are under the arrest, I am offering you to provide a breath test. Are you sure. willing to take the sure. breath test? No yes. problem. Come on, uh, come on, so say I go. I figured he wasn't lying, bro. He said the, the name of the company repeatedly. I figured he wasn't lying. I just googled him. He is a CEO, but not one that makes enough money to get it to get a driver. Obviously, <laughs> I and figured he wasn't lying. Hospital, your blood sugar goes crazy and everything goes crazy. I almost died a month ago. Yes, ma'am. My name is Richard, CEO, Medical Technologies Group, and I know Rick Bradshaw and I know all the sheriffs. This would have never happened in Palm Beach County, ever. Well, thank you for they would have given me a warning, and they would have driven off. Oh, shit. I guess you're stricter here, if you pass someone. I take arrests personal. I take mean people personal. What happened since the pandemic? This whole world, they're killing people. 1936, we'll come right back to it. Salute to the homie Lazy Bone. I don't know if y'all can see Lazy Bone over there fighting the good fight. I got his shaved, man. You know how much money that cost me? Y'all be talking about Lazy Bone. I took this ninja to the salon, man. Let's get back to it, bro. Let's get back to it. Let's get back. We right at the end of it. On September 14th, a deputy conducted a traffic God stop on a vehicle. <laughs> so, so we got Lazy Bone sighting. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, when I tell you to do so, what you're going to do is take a deep breath in, create a tight seal with your mouth around the mouthpiece, okay. and blow out. Okay. It has to be a constant breath out. Okay. You can't stop until I tell you to do so. Okay, okay. Shave, bro. Once you find out I'm not drunk. We're done with this, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And how do I get my car? Your car got towed. But who pays for that? Gonna be up to you. I'll have to call Brick Bradshaw, uh, not uh, call my attorney and have him call Schneider. And sir, do you want to know your results? Yes, I would like to know my results. Your first breast sample is 0.028. I had a second... Tito's last night. Okay, listen, and then your second breast sample is 0 0.028. Um, so it is under the legal limit. I had limit. Tito's last night. Okay. One Tito's. Okay. Last night. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I would like to do that. <laughs> you can see this. He was arrested. He was arrested for, for some bull. I mean, he was arrested for what? Just resisting arrest? He <laughs> seemed like he was a, a high-headed, um, high-headed individual, which I think Come stems from him being a little man. I don't know. I don't even know, but he did look that big. Salute to you, be sure. What you got? Lazy bone, don't mess with me. I'm a CEO. That's a fact. Lazy bone. You filthy motherfucker. Salute to you, man. I appreciate everybody rocking with your boy today. Guys, push say Y'all stupid, man. Power bomb. Hey, bro, stop that shit. Man. Access denied. Let's see. I appreciate everybody rocking with your boy today. Theo, you know you poured magic shave on your cat. No, bro. Access denied. What's to the groomer, man? What's to the groomer shaved his Shaved this dude, man. Lazy Bone's not a big cat. Look at this motherfucker. Lazy Bone is not big at all. He just got a big ass coat. Lazy Bone, come here. I don't say fuck it. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Make sure I didn't miss any more super chats. I appreciate everybody rocking with your boy today. I will be back at it on on Thursday. I'm probably usually I usually stream Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. I'm gonna be tied up the next two days 
Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'll be back Thursday. We'll be back Thursday and then back Friday for Flusa Friday and then Friday evening. Friday evening. I need y'all to pull up. So I'm streaming twice on Friday. Friday evening for the 2023 inaugural Do Better Awards. Bang! Bang! It's good! It's only four months into the new year, people. Huh? For the tip. <laughs> Shit. Theo, uh, get that near, <laughs> just near the cat positive deck. This poor near on I'd rather take him to the uh, groom bread. They charge way too much money for that shit. They charge me $130 for that shit. I'm like, hey, yo, what the fuck? I beg your pardon. I could have shaved this son bitch myself. Appreciate you making try for the $5 super chat. What you got, bro? Dude has that no one's ever going to wipe a booger on me again. <laughs> Energy. Nasty work. <laughs> Yeah, man, he's apparently was a CEO. Is I'm guessing former CEO. I don't know if he's currently still CEO of said technology group, but that's what it is, man. He he got up to that certain plateau in life, and it's like, no, man, you will not treat me as a commoner. And the police said, you lose. A female officer because he fought him. <laughs> a female officer had him hemmed up like a like the three year old he is, man. Uh, oh yeah, let me look at uh, Kendra IG. Yeah, it wasn't nothing big about Kendra IG. It's just. Some I get yeah, matter of fact, what it was, I'm gonna bring up Kendra's IG real quick. What it was was that matter of fact, I got the, I want to play that drip that drop I got too of fresh and fit, so don't go nowhere. It wasn't Kendra G. What made me look Kendra G up, matter of fact, now I remember it is when the big when Kendra was talking about how big her booze was, and I was like, What? Hey yo, what the fuck? I said, Kendra, you've been holding like that, and I didn't know I had to go check it out for myself. Let's go to the big screen. Let's see. And then so what happened was I just happened to look on her IG, and this is the first thing that she got posted or her last pin from like a month ago. And I'm laughing at the comments, bro. I'm laughing at the comments, y'all. Let's see. This is Kendra G. This is uh, first thing pinned on her Instagram. I am the star in any room that I stand in. Oh, I'm going to mute it for copyright. Bro, I don't, can y'all see that? Look how... No, I can't blow it up yet. That's about big as it's going to get. Bro, look how little... That goddamn skirt is. And look at her comments, bro. Look at her comments. This is not me. Watch this shit, bro. Watch Kendra G strut. Kendra G is... Watch Watch this right here. I ain't even met... You can see, bro. You can see her underwear, bro. Kendra got, got the just no cool... I must have missed it, Daniel. Apparently, there's somebody else in the chat, too. Apparently, I, uh, I wasn't the only one, but... Apparently, she holding in the booze department. But I ain't even mad at what she's wearing. Why is she wearing her skirt so little, bro? Why well, is her skirt so little? And even her comments, Kendra is 44 years old. She should not be turning around to the point. Her butt is out. Nothing about this looks nice. Then y'all want to talk about the younger girls that dress like that. She can't bend over and the skirt is flapping right in her crack. That doesn't make me jealous. I'm just telling the truth. Look how little her goddamn girl. You can see her, I see her ass cheeks, man. The car and the woman doesn't match. KG is full crazy. <laughs> and I'm laughing at the comments. Uh... That outfit's too short and not flatter. I think I like some of the comments. Why are your clothes so small? Just asking, sis. Don't, co don't come with the hater remarks. Them jugs are juggling too old for that at her age. Very flashy, materialistic, says Mo. That is short. That's what I'm saying, bro. That dried up cooter cata, <laughs> says Larry. If somebody said it, somebody had a comment here I thought was hilarious. What did they say? Uh, the comments, I don't think anybody, else. it's another comment. What did it have on here? I thought it was something to like, Okay, okay, right here, right here. She's so beautiful, but always a tacky mess. I thought that was funny. <laughs> like, this is the hood shit. This is it. You can't take the hood out of somebody, man. Think Kendra 44, man, still trying to compete with the young girls, man. Still trying to compete with the young girls. Again, I ain't hating on her. She got a nice shape and all that kind of stuff. But I just think that sh that, that, that um that skirt is a bit short. And show does, so does her comment section. Seeing your ashy foot spending her money. She should have worn something white. Uh, looking like a green M&M. Uh, she looks like she has no feet, says J-O-P. <laughs> exactly, E. He said it right here in the chat, bro. He said it right here in the chat. She, uh, she, she uh, what did you say? Kendra's still trying to compete with the girls in their 20s, man. Yeah, that's a fact, man. And then the other thing I had, uh, let's see if I got this clip right here of uh, Myron. Let's see if I can make this a drop. Let me see. Wait me one second. I'm going to switch screens real quick. Let's see. Where's this other one at? <laughs> this, is, I, and this is the one I was thinking about. Let me see. Let's see. Myron fighting back tears. If there's anything you guys can learn from this Thanks for the podcast, tip. Learn this. We've been through hell together. 
We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People are fucking laughing every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us. And you know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand by the guys that stand by me. Because you fucking pieces of shit. If there's anything you guys can learn from oh, this damn, that's podcast, it. No, no that's not it. This. No, that's not it. I need to find more. I need to find... I need to find more of that. That's definitely not it. That's definitely not it, man. I appreciate it. everybody rock with your boy today. Let's see. Make sure I didn't miss any more super chats on the way out. Let's see. Uh, Megatron, I got that one. Let's see. Salute to this motherfucker was going off, bro. Going off, man. And salute to you, Rebecca. I think Rebecca. I think I missed your super chat at the end of Friday's show. My apologies. I just remember right now. Let's see what you got, Quiet Storm. She looks like an old ass Gumby, man. <laughs> <laughs> Myron, not these effing guys. Bro, I'm telling you, you need to have find somebody in your life to have your back like Myron has fresh, bro. I read something. What was a funny comment I read on there yesterday? Said like Myron's the type, Myron's the type of dude that's so loyal that he'll hold his like in the zombie apocalypse, he'll hold the door and the zombies like, run, get away. I got this. <laughs> run. He'll hold the door while the zombies eating his arm, eating his arms and legs while y'all get away. Man, I appreciate everybody rocking with your boy today. Again, I will be back. I fucks with Fresh and Fit when it comes to helping man. Yeah, Daniel, you missed it, Daniel. We had this whole, we had this whole spiel in the chat, Daniel. The main thing I was talking about Fresh and Fit is about, about them being tellers. Then you had people here throwing the cape on for Fresh and Fit, saying that I'm lying. I had my own chat gaslight me, saying that I was lying about Fresh and uh, Fit being a Klansman. Like I made all that up, and then we ended up laughing about. Uh, a short dude, CEO, at the end of the dash game, man. That's kind of how the world turns, man. And I got to figure out what I'm going to make drops out of my man saying I'm sick. Salute to you, uh, Quiet Storm. And salute to our show sponsors, RTB Fit and the homie Recluse Gangster. Our show sponsors. Bang! Bang! It's good! I will be back. Uh, you have a... <laughs> I will be back Thursday again. Don't, re don't forget, we're going to have... I'm going to be back Thursday, Friday, we, we streaming like regular, and then Friday night, we're doing the Do Better Wars of 2023, of, ye <laughs> of yesteryear. <laughs> I appreciate everybody rocking with your boy today. I need you guys to do two things. First thing I need you to do. Acknowledge me. They got shut out by the members only. Yeah, bro, I just can't believe it. We can have a difference of opinion. That's fine. But people said I was lying. Like, what? Hey, yo, what the fuck? This shit is on film, man. You can like somebody, bro. Don't gaslight me, man. Do Better Squad. Fall out. I will be back at it on Thursday. Let's get it. Fall out, good people. A lot of me. Like I'm lying up here, bro. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. What it do, baby? Acknowledge me. <laughs> CDT beats. Alex earlier about I was just I can't keep up with everything in the chat so I was just trying to clarify earlier in the chat man again bro you can like Fresh and Fit that's fine but don't tell me I'm lying because you like them nigga no hey, you want answers hey!
thing. It's good. Don't tell me I'm lying because you like them. You can just like them. But don't use me as an excuse for you not to like them, for you to like them, bro. Get the fuck out of here. If you if you old man, you're going to stand on business and say I rock with them, stand on business. But don't accuse me of lying because you don't like what I'm saying. Bang! Bang! It's good. That, my friend, is bitch shit. Salute to you, Alex. Let's get it. Another thing, I do YouTube for a living. I know this bang, shit. Bang, bang, it's good. I think they gonna know what's going on in these streets more than me. I'm in these streets every day. Welcome to Death Row. Bang, bang, it's good. Goddamn right. Ha, 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 ha.